Welcome back guys, it is very late here tonight and we're going to do a short brief stream so I don't know if this is going to turn into one episode or two but long story short we are just starting part four of the game. If you guys are this far you'll recognise it hopefully but for those that haven't and maybe want a quick quick very brief catch up the TLDR is that we've got two or three champions at this point in the game but not that many. There has been a lot of developments in terms of the story. We went in search of the radio tower but before that we also found the dam. The professor disappeared. Now if you want to see what happened to Rio make sure you catch the end of the last VOD. I'm not going to spoil too much other than that, but he's no longer in the group. We also managed to meet up with Kaito again, but Kaito has lost his sister Miyu, so Kaito is absolutely obsessed with finding his sister, and the rest of the group ended up going off with the strange lady to find the radio tower. Now, unfortunately, the strange lady happened to be Arukenimon, surprise, surprise, so they all got ambushed, we had to save them, we managed to defeat Arukenimon and push her back. I will show you guys the Digimon stats in just a minute, but for the time being we have to kind of do this brief intro where we speak to Arukenimon, who has actually just went back to speak to who I assume is her boss. So let's go ahead and have a look at this just now. I did find the human children, but you see my servants all proved so incompetent. Here we go. <laughs> that voice though, you allowed them to escape. I'll try and not read out, although I'll read out most of the, the dialogue, I'll try not read out every single line because I know that's hard to watch sometimes as well. There's a balance in that guys, I've been learning a lot. Mm. So these guys here are talking about an altar and preparation for a sacrifice. This basically discussions we've heard so so far. We kept hearing Arakenimon talking about the altar, the altar, and getting back to the altar. And it seems based on what the professor was telling us earlier, it seems that the the Digimon of old required children sacrifices throughout the years, which again is a little bit darker of a tone, but I kinda like it. The, the boss here is pissed. Have you not have you not only let the children escape but also failed to provide an offering? There has been a lot more fights since Lawless, but a lot of them are optional to answer your question in the chat from earlier. Mm. Mm. Alright. Oh! Dude, why is Mega Seedramon always the bad guy? If you're not up to the task on your own, I could always have Mega Seedramon help you. Oof, please. Oh, please. No doubt he would be similarly motivated to prove his devotion to our master. Oh! Dude, it's mad! It's mad, it's mad. First, let me try. Monzy, one, you can't be a bad guy. Although you've always looked particularly scary. You are cut out for that line of work, I will say. <laughs> Nothing quite like an evil big teddy bear to freak you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, guys, whether you like the kids or not, because I will say a lot of the characters in the game so far are quite, not unlikable, but they're, they're tough to listen to. Which, again, I feel like is a realism angle. Nobody likes when the Digimon are hurt, right? Nobody likes when the small animals, the small pets are hurt, and uh, when the tamers disappear, the Digimon disappear as well, which was kind of painful to see. <laughs> I was more concerned about that yesterday. <laughs> Out of my way, said a voice. How crass. <gasps> no! Wait, Garurumon's on the bad team? Oh no, chat, I can't handle this. I heard those traitors who got strong by teaming up with the humans have turned on us. Ah, so the, the traitors being the small rookie Digimon. Just what I've been waiting on, I'm gonna crush them all. As if brute force will help you accomplish anything, you're such an idiot. Use your classic trope where all the bad guys are fighting amongst each other. Gotta love it. She's just talking shit on him. Well, what a surprise, he shows up, picks a fight and leaves. Are you sure we can trust him? Oh, maybe Garurumon will turn. Heed my words, Arakenimon, our master will not tolerate any more failure. So it looks like there is a boss above these guys as well. They have, they have a boss. Okay, there'll be no more second chances. 
Oh, wait a minute, guys. We've got another voice here. Remember, it's not just Monjimon and Mega Seedramon here. <laughs> there are countless others who could take your place. Oh, it's actually just the main guy zoomed in. Okay. Okay. So, although Arakerimon is being seen like although we've known her as the main villain so far or one of the main villains it seems like there is a hierarchy way above her no not that way rio come back so here's takuma having bad dreams for a guy dude all right seriously having um problems from yesterday's escapades it was just a dream if only takuma if only I woke up from a nightmare this morning drenched in sweat. My hands are still shaking. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's a uh, Rio's blood on my mum's spaghetti sweater already. Wait. It's not surprising I had a lot in my mind last night and sleep did not come easy. Now after watching Rio die right in front of us yesterday. But beyond the terror of watching someone die for the first time. But is he actually dead? Is he actually dead, chat? The game told us straight up there was literally a dialogue line and it was like all I know for a fact is. And then there was a really suspenseful pause. It came up on the screen. It was like dot dot dot. And then new line. Rio is dead. And I was like, <gasps> so the the game is trying really hard to convince us this, this little kid is actually gone forever. Whether he is or not remains to be seen. If you guys know whether he comes back or not, please do not tell me. I am just speculating. If he is actually dead, don't tell me that either. Okay? Moving on. I shouldn't let myself dwell on it. Not after how Agamon cheered me up last night. Where does Agamon? Where does everyone else for that matter? Do you know what, even though playing this game for long stretches over the last couple of streams has been taxing, not taxing in a bad way, right, it's just been uh, long streams of a lot of talking, I will say that every time I sit down to start streaming the game, I am super pumped to play it. Like fresh, you know when you wake up and you've got like the whole morning ahead of you and you just want to sit and play? That's how I feel right now, so I've had some criticisms, I've had some positives, we've talked about the pros and cons quite a lot over the last 48 hours, but um, I'm really happy to be here just like I said yesterday. We'll see how long that lasts. Anyways, it's not too late. Maybe others are still in the cafeteria. I better go and see. I think Shuji is meant to be the way he is, but I think he's going to come round. Shuji has kind of been placed in this, almost in the same ballpark as Ryo, but not quite as crazy. You know how um, Shuji is very kind of like, he's not accepting his Digimon. He really doesn't want to take his Digimon under his wing. He keeps being rude to Lopmon. I think that's intentional, but I do think there's going to be a bit of salvation there. Although it's painful to watch, you, you don't really like him as a result, at least in my opinion. I don't really like him as a viewer watching him. I think he will hopefully come to change. Anyways, here's Kaito. Good morning, Kaito. If you guys haven't seen Kaito's Digimon right now, he is with Drakmon. You'll see him in a second. He seems pretty mad. Has he been waiting up for me to wake up the whole time? Kaito is really pissy because his sisters went missing for the second time in the game so far. And uh, yet again, it is his fault. So... Drakmon. Technically, the first time that Miyu went missing was not was not Kaito's fault, but the second time, I'm definitely going to put the blame on him. It was that classic moment in anime where the character goes, Stay there! Do not leave! Okay, I'm coming right back! And then they come right back and the, the little kid's gone, and then they spend the whole movie trying to find them. We don't have any time to give. We need to get out of there and save Miyu. Okay. True, but with the strange fog, everyone's nervous. His sister is literally lost in the wilderness by herself. I can tell why he'd be freaking out about this. I like how um, Takuma's having a luxury sleep until midday, getting up, making tea and scones, and Kaito's just waiting, twiddling his thumbs on the, the team to be ready to go find his sister. I feel like every second could literally help. Welcome back, G-Dog. Mm. Looks like a shit Mexican wrestler. You did not just call Drakmon a shit Mexican wrestler, Eshi. What the f... I can kind of see it. Don't you tell me to calm down, my sister's life's on the line. It's not like I forgot. But you getting mad is not going to help anything. I'm going to go look for Mio on my own. 
It's too dangerous for you to go out by yourself. We all need to stick together. There's been a lot of discussions like this over the last few days. I don't want you putting yourself in danger. Dragmon. Oh, Kaito was actually swayed by his Digimon. That's good. It means they're starting to forge a bond. We managed to get through him for once. I went away until noon, then I'm going looking for Mew. Even if I have to go alone. <laughs> Alright, Dragmon's going with him no matter what. Quit trying to do everything by yourself. What do you think I'm here for? You really feel that way. Alright, sorry about that. Dragmon seems genuinely concerned for Kaito. And Kaito does actually seem to listen to Dragmon in his own way. Yeah, I like that. It might not look like it, but I think those two are actually pretty close. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Right, guys, now that we can actually take some time to enjoy the game, we have 11 moves during this segment. Let's have a look and see. The first thing I really want to check is who the free battle is, if there is any. Yeah, Dokugumon is back yet again. We still don't have Dokugumon. What I think we should do, guys, is use six of our moves to talk to people, and then we'll do a battle in a minute. Now, the free battle could change by hanging out with these kids, but at the same time, I think it'll be okay. Let's go speak to Kaito first, yeah? What are you doing over here? I don't know. I, want to intrude, uh, I don't want to intrude on you guys or anything. Come on, you're one of us now. There's no need to hang back. Looks like Kaito's hanging out by himself. If only I'd seen through her disguise sooner, things wouldn't have ended like that. Now, if you're wondering what happened here, Kaito was the only person yesterday who actually believed that the spider lady, Arukenimon, when she was in her human form, he was the only one that was absolutely certain she was a monster. Now, at the time, he looked a, bit, a little bit unhinged because he didn't have any proof, but it turns out he was right. I've been acting so selfishly this whole time, only thinking of myself, but only did that because I thought I would be the one to pay the price. I could do anything back there. Couldn't do anything back there, even though it was me who got Ryo into the mess. I don't think it's exactly your fault, Kaito. Plus, Ryo was a bit of a fucking ape, so I'm not really that upset, mate. If, I, uh, if Ryo's not here for the time being, it means I don't have to listen to him moan all the time. Anyways, uh, Kaito's doing a lot of apologizing right now, and I don't know if he really needs to. But it does show a good degree of his character here. Um, You're really honest. You've got some sense. You're a good guy. He probably will like one of these, or maybe two of these. I want to try and please him. He seems like he's quite a hard ass, but he's opening up to us here. So I think we're just going to say, you're a good guy. I don't know if he'll want that, but this is more like the Minoru answer. You're really honest. That almost seems like a bad thing, though. Let's just say you're a good guy. You know what, Kaito? You're actually a good guy. What's this now? Well, you thought something was wrong and you wanted to apologise, right? And when it comes down to it, you're concerned about what happened to us, so I figured you must be alright. No, I don't know. I just want anyone else getting caught up in my problems. That's all I'm saying. Oh, well, we don't get any affinity there. I don't know if that was the wrong answer or not. We tried. He's angry, I'm sure. Hey, I can hear you. And I'm serious about not wasting time. So... Okay. He's asking about the creepy hands. We don't get any affinity there, which makes me think... We may have picked the wrong option, but again, I don't even know. There has been This has been bugging me too, Drachmon. Do you or any of the others know anything? Not really sure myself. That's okay, you were trying to cheer me up on the way. Um, thanks. So I guess we get nothing. We just progress, I guess. Maybe, we're su maybe we were supposed to say that he was honest? But I felt like that was almost like a condescending thing to say. I didn't know if he would like that. Anyways... Sometimes it'd be like that. We just have to soldier on, I guess. It's tough because I don't know if um, if there is a finny up for grabs. I have to assume there is, but if I'm being completely honest, sometimes it feels like some of these interactions are fucking... <laughs> sometimes it feels like a lose-lose. Uh, but anyways, what we got over here? What's this? Oh, a clobber carrot. That reminds me, we actually have a bunch of items to spend. We'll do that before we go into the free battle, guys. After the boss fight yesterday, we got a ton of stuff given to us. Alright, so I guess for the time being, we're going to have to say bye to Kaito. We don't get any bonuses. That's some fucking feels bad. We could go back and try with him again, but I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, Minoru, he's up next. I'd love to play next order, but exclusivity. The game seems like my vibe though, so really want to grab it, says Stodgy. I think maybe one day next order might end up on Steam Stodgy. It seems like a lot of games are going that way. If Kunimon had been more concerned with this, and if he'd gotten through to Ryu, I believe things may have turned out... Uh, I, I believe things may not have turned out as they did. I think you're probably right. And yet, Kunamon tried his best in his own way. 
He thought to communicate using actions, not words. Yes. Kunimon made a piece of equipment for Ryu. This is the result. Oh shit, there we go. So this is Kunimon's item. Tell me the truth, or tell me truthfully, what do you think of this equipment? Oh shit. What do I think? I don't even know what it's supposed to be still. I'm sure Kunimon worked very hard. I'd like to tell Falkmon he did a good job, but Falkmon did ask for an honest opinion. Oh fuck. Um, it's really well made. Fuck it, we'll go for it. How many changed? I'm sure Ryo would have been thrilled to have it. Do you think so? Well, Ryo was pretty mean to Kunimon and he wasn't the most straightforward guy, but if he spent more time together, I'm sure they'd have gotten along eventually. I'm going around checking in on people since nobody came to the cafeteria this morning. Kaito's pretty worked up. He's talking about going to look for Miyu on his own. I see. Then it sounds like this is no time for us to remain idle. Kaido can get pretty fixated on things, can he? Especially when they involve his sister. Okay, cool. So, what are we going to say here to Minoru? What's he asking? What did he say there? What kind of what's? Oh, what kind of comics do you like? Okay. Minoru has been putting on an act. We saw that Minoru was quite scared at the beginning, which is understandable. But he's not as much of a hero as he plays out to be. He's a bit of a he's a bit cowardly. Maybe that'll be a big element for him to develop over the course of the game. Guess I couldn't fo uh, fool you, but you know, it's not just me, it's everyone. Everyone's in a bad mood after Ryu's disappearance yesterday. I guess Minoru is no exception. You don't have to try and comfort me. I know uh, what I did was awful. I don't uh, think I ever treated Ryu right. To be honest, Ryo didn't treat anybody else right either, so... Okay, so we get affinity with Minoru, but we do not get any other items. I think for the time being, we have done all the stuff in this area as well, so let's peace out of there for a bit. Our other options are the twins. Again, we can't build an affinity bond with the twins, so I don't know how much hanging out with the twins is important. I would much rather put effort into the actual characters in my, uh, in my group, so... I think before we speak to the twins, well, let's go and talk to the two girlies here and see what's available. We've got Aoi and Saki. Now, Saki is newer to the group, so I think that today we hang out with Saki first. I did have a lot of painful things to say about Saki yesterday, mostly that she herself was actually painful. Some people might like her. She's definitely pretty, but she is one of those characters where, you know, when you don't show an interest, she's angry. When you show an interest, she's angry. And when she's not doing anything, she's angry. So let's talk to Saki and see how angry she is today. One night just isn't enough to put something like that behind you, isn't it? I never understood why Saki, who's so cheerful and outgoing, was always with Ryo. Oh, she was actually. Yeah, she was very close with him. I think I get it now. She must have felt like they were two sides of the same coin. Not that I could ever see it. She was. He was always so lonely. Saki did mention about being lonely yesterday, actually. That was something she brought up. I know you're really nice, Saki. I know you better than anyone. And she's asking us if we think that too. I think you're nice. Let's just go for that and see. I don't think telling her she's blunt will make her happy, but we'll see. Uh, not what kind of non-answer is that? I'll have you know that Saki is very nice. Uh, I'm sure you're nice enough. Okay, so it was actually a backhanded comment. Maybe we should have went for the middle option. I think, yeah, again, we may have missed an opportunity for affinity with Saki. Which makes me want to take my console and dump it in the... Oh, just kidding. All oh, back out the lake you come, console. Everything's fine. It was just a jibet. I'm kind of happy about that. Thanks, Takuma. Saki's not a pile of trash, chat. Don't say that. You don't mean that. Why would I be nervous? You know, I'm talking, I think talking to you helped me feel a little better, thanks. Hey, no problem, that was a nice in and out burger fucking instance, I quite appreciate this, the small ones. I do think that when the game asks you to spend 11 slots doing things with your characters, I like when it's like important and sweet and kind or poignant or whatever the emotion is. I like when it's brief, I like when it's snippet. Keep the important, long-winded emotional dialogue, keep that for later in the game when big things happen. See if we're just hanging out the morning after a fucking catastrophe. Just little bits of chit chat from the group. If we've got fucking five, six characters to get through, I like when it's like, you know, nice and condensed. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing we could have done. So again, it's a very similar. It's going to be, you can see the structure. Every time you talk to each character, they're all down in the dumps. The Digimon tries to perk them up. They talk about a problem they have, and then you, uh, you tell them about your own thoughts. And then they give you a reaction, and then you leave. It's pretty much cookie cutter, you know? But there is obviously some nice interactions here. So... Um, she's been crying all morning, it's been hard to watch. She feels guilty about what happened to Ryo, she probably feels responsible. So let's see here. Uh, what's done is done, it was inevitable. We're all a bit responsible. I think we have to take some of the weight off our shoulders here. It wasn't just you, Aoi. We could have all done more to help support Ryo. I mean, I couldn't do anything either. There we go. We got an affinity boost. I think that, I actually think that uh, Ayo, who I think in this game represents the moral decisions, she's actually wearing the red colour of the moral, um you know, palette if you like. I think that uh, we actually have a pretty good com common bond with her. Even I didn't realise Ryo was far gone. 
so there's no reason for you to take all the blame. Takuma, oh, she's crying again. If there is actually deep emotional trees in this game, which I have yet to test myself, I think that obviously we've lost Ryo, but I'm pretty sure Ryo's death is like giga scripted. We should maybe take the game a little bit more seriously than we have, just to try and save as many characters as we can. Or the characters might not even, you know, the characters might be on rails anyway, so I don't know. What should I say to Saki? Um, is this a girl thing or Saki speaking? I would assume it's this one, but we picked this one last time and it was wrong. You're so considerate. I don't think we tell her this. This is a bit too personal. You really get girls, let's just say this. It's really impressive how well you understand the way girls feel about things. Well, rude, you make it sound I'm not a girl. <sighs> Why do I even bother trying? Apparently you've just to be an absolute asshole when it comes to Saki. She's literally the Sundari, isn't she? Amongst every other fucking character in this group. I think Saki maybe is looking for a bit of a realism outlook. Kind of like Kaito in a way. Like if you try and butter up to them, they just aren't having any of it. Miyuki's here and Haru. Let's talk to Miyuki first and see. See if we can get anything out of her. Everyone seems restless, this Haru. And Miyuki here is just repeating over and over again. I find it really ironic, right, that I made jokes about her having a grand piano pushed on her. And yet every time we see her, out of all the items in the entire world, there is always a grand piano in the background. I wonder, should I say anything? Both Haru and Miku are uh, kind of hard to talk to sometimes, although it's nice to see them getting along. Oh, she's singing. Miyuki, that song. Hey Takuma, did you hear that sound like Miyuki was singing something? It must be the song from the intro of the game, I bet, right? Haru doesn't look too happy, let's go cheat him up. Wait, Agamon. Haru, Miyuki. Uh, Takuma, Agamon, how long have you been there? Oh wait, they didn't even see us. They're spaced out. We didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. Maybe we just kind of peeked into the room as they were talking and this is what we've seen. He's asking about the song, isn't he? Maybe we weren't supposed to hear it. Should I be honest? Or pretend not to have noticed? Then again, I'm worried about Miyuki. Maybe I should turn the question back onto them. Holy shit. Heard what? Well, we can't say that. That's never going to work out. It's either yes, I heard it, we be honest. Or I'll say, is it bad if I did? Let's ask this. Is it bad if I heard? Wrathfulness changed. Sorry, is it bad if I did? Was the song supposed to be something secret? Well, not exactly. Okay, Haru's expression is a little difficult to read. The two of them do seem real close. It could be that he's just jealous that someone heard his sister singing. Uh, weird, but okay. Hold on to this, Takuma. I'm sure it'll be useful. Oh, Annie Fire Crystal. That song must be relevant to something. Maybe that's the song she was singing as he was dying or something, I don't know. Is there anything else in the room that we want? We've already scanned the drum and we got an item from that yesterday. Like I said, guys, we're getting a lot of items, but I'll just equip those in a minute in one go. Is there anyone else we can hang out with right now? I don't know. We've got five turns to hang out with people. Takuma, last night was awful. First the professor, now Ryu. I'm reminded once again how much more dangerous this place is than I thought. That's okay, I'm still a bit surprised myself. So Agamon's having a heart to heart with Takuma here. He actually did this rap last night after we came home from the incident as well. So the fact that he's doing it again is, uh, you know, a lot. Human children are special to Agamon and the others somehow, right? But even so, the thought of disappearing must be terrifying even to them. So it makes sense that Agamon would be upset by what happened to Ryu and Kunamon. Let's see what our options are. Give people space, talk to people. I can't honestly say. I honestly can't say. I think talking to people is definitely the play, right? You gotta try. Yeah, who doesn't like Agamon? We gotta send him in to do God's work. I think they've probably all had a conversation like we did already. Minoru with Falcomon. Aoi has Labramon. And, that same, and the same goes for everyone else. I'm a little worried about Shuji and Lockmon. Ryu was like that, remember? He was blunt and realistic and Saki always liked hanging out with him. Yeah. You could be right, Damon. That's a good show, actually. Will we try it right now, guys? Saki is actually... Or, uh, not Saki, sorry. Shuji has returned up with Lopmon. I think now's a good time to talk to her. If you guys haven't seen this character yet, he is very, very angsty. This guy is supposed to be a year or two older than all the other kids. He's the class rep, and he's the bossy one. Uh, Aoi's kind of like that too, but this guy's like the senior member of the group. Unfortunately, he is having a lot of... He's got this crushing weight of responsibility. He's really upset about the professor, and he's really difficult to talk to. Alright, let's see what Shuji's got to say. This might be a little bit painful, but we just have to see. We have to try and convince this guy to calm down a little bit, because he keeps freaking out. Look at his face. This is all my fault. I'd only be I'd, If I'd only been able to keep this together, or keep us together. Oh, he didn't even see us. Okay, sorry, I was just talking to myself. No, I feel like I should be the one to apologise. How are you doing? Now again, I think if we have to convince Shuji and answer him with certain like a certain angle of response, you know, if he's looking for particular responses, I would guess that he's he wants us to tell him that he's great, but also that he's, we have to acknowledge his intellect because that seems to be what he really wants. We have to say things like, oh, you're a great leader, oh, you, no, that was the right choice, or hey, we could do this together, things like that. 
Not only was I thrown into some strange new world, I watched someone die in front of me. This is exactly the kind of thing the Professor trusted me to keep from happening. If I'd had my act together, Ryu would still be here. I've completely failed the Professor. So as you can see, he's doing a lot of moaning. It's, it's, it's understandable, but it does get a lot when five characters in a row are doing this. The question itself, how am I supposed to apologise to Ryu's parents? He seems like he's really responsible for what happened, but he's not solely to blame. None of it was his fault. Uh, let's see. Maybe we say I'll apologise too? I don't think he will like this. No need to apologise is ridiculous. If we tell him that he doesn't need to do that, he's going to shut us down. I think we try and share his burden and see what he says. He could turn around and be really angsty about this. He could be like, no, the responsibility is mine. I don't want you to come near me. You know, in which case maybe we're better saying, hey, maybe we can focus on that later. Because that is quite a rational thinking and he might like that. He might think, oh yeah, you're right. We should, you know, you, we should focus on the task at hand and then come to that later. He might appreciate that. But this is a test. Let's see, I'll apologise too and, and see if he likes this. Harmony changed. I'm not sure you should, uh, I'm not sure what you should say, but I'll be there to apologise with you. After all, when it comes to what happened with Ryu, I'm at least responsible, just as you are. There we go. Okay, nice. So, that was good. We got that one right. Thanks, but you shouldn't have to feel that way. I feel I really am a really terrible uh, leader, aren't I? No, says Lotman. You're doing the best you can. Let's see if he freaks out here. Yeah. Well, who asked you? Yeah, he's really not liking it. Anyway, sorry, but would you mind giving me a lot more time on my own? Sure, I could use some time to think. Alright, that's no problem. Shuji's not taking this well, and his own strong sense of responsibility is not helping. Maybe it's best if I just leave him. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy to get out of here. I think I'm, you know, that conversation, I'm warming to Shuji. Although I really wish he would treat Lotmon better. What we got down here? There's a bit of distortion. Lotmon's got a fucking stash of drugs hidden behind that thing. Oh, another melon. Cool. Yeah, I probably will give him a go here. And see if we can't understand him. We could also hang out with Floramon as well. I mean, there's so many... There's so many options for, for hanging out with these people. Now we actually do have to carefully choose. I think we're going to go for Kaito and try and get this bond up a little bit more, yeah? I want to get to know Kaito a bit more. I quite like him as a character. Despite the fact he's always turbo-aggressive. Are you still not ready? What's taking so long? I'm working on letting everybody know. Besides, you said you'd wait until noon. I'd rather not be waiting at all. But do not try to push people too much. All that stuff with Rio hit everyone harder than I'd realised. Okay. So, let's see what we can say to Kaito if we can get a bit of a bond here. What am I doing? I don't have time for this. Hey, wait, are you just going to go charging out there again? Please tell me I haven't lost him. It's like you haven't learned anything. Kaito, wait. No, I've waited long enough. This is bad. He might actually leave this time. I need to convince him to stop. But it has to be good or he won't listen. Should I say we need his help too? Or should I try to stop him by force? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't think... Oh my god, this actually could be important. I don't think we threaten him. That's never the option. So it's a 50-50 between these two. I think we have to appeal for help. If we persuade him, that's what we're trying to do right now and it won't convince him. I think we have to tell him that we need his help too. But then he might, because that might stop him from leaving. But then he might also turn around and be like, yeah, well, my sister needs help too. Fuck you. Do we appeal? I think we have to appeal for help. We could cheese save the game, but I think we just go for it. Kaito, if you go, you're putting us in danger too. Please, we need to stick together. I don't see the difference having one less person in the group. It wasn't the whole problem yesterday that we didn't work together. I'm waiting for his expression to soften here. That's what I really want. Like that. Besides, in a world where we could uh, anything could happen, we could use all the help we can get. I don't know how much help you think uh, this hothead could be. He's stubborn, short-tempered, and totally focused. Look, the important thing is we shouldn't split up. Kaito, please. Oh, all right, fine, you don't have to beg me like that. Besides, I guess I'm having more help looking for me would make things easier. Thanks, Kaito. Okay, thank fuck for that. Okay, sweet. I don't know if we'd have got enough in it either way. Let's all work together to find Miu. You're right, Takuma, thanks. Okay, this seems to work out well, but sometimes it feels like you're stabbing in the dark with these guys. It really does feel like that. We are going to just put in a quick save file here just because we've played for a little bit today. Okay, good stuff. I'm unfortunately in a Final Fantasy XIV dungeon, so I'm typing in between pools. No, you're fine, Jesse. I'm enjoying watching you struggle as much as I was. Look at this blushy boy. Um, Don't compare Joe to that garbage fire. <laughs> oh, now I understand what's going on. I always isn't like a class rep. She's more like the perfect proper student. Yeah. She looks like she's en route to being the this, this student council rep or something. Okay, that seemed to have worked out really good. Well, I'm glad we got a bond with, uh, with Kaito. Right. 
before we leave and go and hang out with Agamon, I am worried that's going to consume all of my time as well. I do think we're going to do a quick random battle to see if we can get Dokugamon. And if that works, great. And if not, we can use this encounter to train up some of our other Digimon. So let's go quickly do this. This does not consume any free time, so we don't have to worry about it. But it will break up some of our mumbo jumbo a little bit nicely. So if you guys want to see some of the combat, check this out. Right, I'm going to try and get some XP on the weaker characters here. Because as you can see, some of my Digimon are level 21, and then some of them are level 10. So Gomamon was given to us yesterday by the game, which is exciting. So we're going to put Gomamon in. He is a vaccine type, which is not very good against these guys, because I'm pretty sure the Gotsumon on the flanks are data, but the Dokugamon in the middle is actually a virus. So Gomamon might be okay. What I'd like to do is maybe just let Gomamon hold back a little bit, because he's going to be quite weak. So I'd rather put him in the back, although he is also very slow, and I want him to get XP, so... Um, Lotmon is unfortunately not that great in this fight, but Beomon could definitely take part. Uh, I've also got Floromon as well. Gilmon is going to be great in this fight, so we're going to put him up front. I've also got Drachmon, who's level 17. We definitely want him in the fight. We'll put him over here. And then after that, we could also bring in... Do you know what? Let's actually just throw caution to the wind. We'll put Lotmon in the back. We're probably not going to need all of our characters. And then I will also put in our... Let's put in Agamon, just keep him as strong as possible. I never really want to not take Agamon because he just provides so much... He provides so much safety and security. If you guys are curious, we are playing the game on hard mode, guys, so just letting you know that in advance. The, the battles can be a little bit more challenging. Although, I will say, admittedly, we are very powerful, so I haven't really encountered too much difficulty as of just yet. Looks like Dokugamon is going straight for the jugular. And Drachmon is first up. Let's send him onto the flank. This guy can digivolve, so we're probably going to digivolve now. I should always probably be digivolving first and then moving because the Digimon, the champion Digimon, get one more square typically. So I don't know if it'll matter in this instance, but I should have, technically, I should have digivolved after moving. We can't reach uh, Got Someone up here, so all we can do is end turn. I forgot to put all my items on. Actually, for I unironically forgot to put all my items on. I think what we do here for uh, with Agamon is because. This guy is level 12, actually quite skinny. We're going to evolve as Greymon. And we're going to just frontline with Agamon. bergamon has got quite a good range, so we can put her behind. I still haven't figured, figured out, and hopefully some of the guys, some of you guys who have been playing the game, maybe you can weigh in on this discussion. Um, if I attack with a with a Digimon in battle, if I actually make Gomamon get involved in this fight, will he gain more XP? Or is it completely split evenly across everybody who participates in the battle? I've been under the impression, you know, maybe I should be, uh, maybe I should be trying to make these weaker enemies, some of these weaker friends, maybe I should be making them take part. Right? Or does it even matter? I, I don't know. Uh, can you actually hit from here, Beamon? Spiral Twister, you can, let's go. 76% is quite an unlikely land, uh, chance to land, but we'll go for it anyway. One in... Okay, there was a 1 in 4 chance of missing there, but that's fine. Uh, Beamon, we're just going to leave you where you are. Even split. Okay. Thanks, Brock. Uh, I'll DM you how I... Uh, the link is usual. I'm good. I'm also watching till he reaches where I am. Okay, Brock, to go nice. <clears throat> like I said, guys, we won't be on for too late tonight. Because I am uh, pretty tired and I might have to get up early tomorrow, so... Right, so we are going to put Gilmon over here and we're going to end our turn. <laughs> True Wrath. Sounds like Yoho job then. How do you feel about Shuji? Yeah, Shuji's a, he's a difficult character, isn't he? He is difficult, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Level 12, Lotmon. Let's uh, make you somewhat involved here, Lotmon. I wonder if I can use you as bait. We gotta be kind of careful here because this Gotsumon over here could be a problem for us. So we need to be careful of that. This guy over here will be a chump. I should have maybe, sp I should have maybe split up my teammates a little bit better here. But we should, we should be okay. Gomamon takes a big hit. It's kind of scary. Uh, Gomamon, I'm gonna move you over. Maybe Gomamon can actually take part in this fight. Can he actually hit Dokugamon from here? Oh wait, look, marching fishes raises what resistance one rank. He can actually do damage if he wants. This is gonna do very very little damage, but I think this is better. Look, attack break. The chances of this landing are... Oh, it's guaranteed. There's no there's no chance of missing, it seems, when it comes to the debuffs. I didn't realise that. 
Okay, so we're going to attack break uh, the main guy, which is hopefully going to give us a better... In fact, you know what? Is that a mistake? Special attack down as well, actually. Okay, that's cool. I don't actually know how much it... How much does it debuff him? He's still got an attack of 157, but I think that's after the debuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> Just gives my SP back. Nice. Right, we should be able to bring back a bit of control in the fight here. We could also take the high ground. I think we're just going to go here. And we are just going to attack at range. Sticker blade should be pretty good. Uh, honestly, I wonder. So let's have a look at this for science as well. Remember this. 100% accuracy. 3% crit chance. If I actually move to the high ground. Do we get better odds in this? Uh, obviously in the crit chance we can't get better than 100 accuracy. Our crit chance goes up to 5%. So yeah, just being a slightly up top does give you a bit more it gives you a bit more room to breathe doesn't it okay sure five percent i was hoping that the crit chance would be a bit better than f like a two percent increase but that's fine this guy might actually retreat quite far so we have to be kind of careful i've kind of blocked gilmon actually as well which might not be a smart move uh we are gonna mega flame this guy big assists from everyone across the board this should hurt quite a lot Decent damage, we've gone down a half. And I think we just, uh, I should have talked, I should have spoke here actually. I think what we want to do is give, oh I can't actually give the buff to anyone else. Oh and I was supposed to recruit Dokugamon, what am I thinking? Oh I came in this fight specifically to recruit him, I've just realised. Let's try and talk to him. If this works I'm such an idiot, if it doesn't work then I'm still an idiot. Uh, okay, <clears throat> Dokugamon said, I don't even know. You're in my way, sorry to bother you, I want to be friends. Oh fuck, I don't know. No. Not likely to work, but we'll try anyway. The monster seems hostile. Me eat you, okay? So if he's hostile, maybe we have to uh, stand up to us. Or stand up to him. Try, uh, try it if you dare. There we go. Okay, sweet. The chances of stealing this guy is going to be like sub 20%. I'm just letting you guys know that in advance. Okay. <clears throat> the monster is taking a threatening stance. So if he's been aggressive, we have to be aggressive too. Uh, either we take a stance or we glare at him. I don't think it matters too much which which we do. Uh, let's see, we take a stance. Nice. Okay, so what are we going to get as our odds here? The monster seems to be waiting on you. Maybe you should hear it out. 42%. Alright, we can't do anything but hope, chat. Here we go. Looks like the monster will go with you. Hey, we got him. Okay, I'm sorry for wasting so many turns attacking him. But if we do get XP for Gomamon, then maybe this is fine. Uh, honestly, I'm an idiot chat, but it worked out. Plus, we got the good odds this time. There was a 2 out of 5 chance that we got him, and it paid off, so that's pretty cool. Right, Beomon, uh, we're going to get you involved with this guy. Again, this dude is going to be quite threatening to Beomon, so I am a bit... Do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even move this close. Maybe we should stay a little bit of range and just use a bit of Beomon's strength to our advantage. She is very squishy, and this guy will dick on us. So... 90% chance to hit. Okay, not very much damage, but that's fine. We'll chip her down. Greymon's going to basically one-pop this guy anyway. Gilmon actually can get to the side of this dude, which is good, so we're going to go ahead and do that. There is a possibility that this guy kills me, though. Dave, what's up, man? Welcome. Hell yeah, Dave. Thank you so much. You are a legend, Dave. Look who's still alive and reading. Hope everyone is doing well. Keeping up with your great content. I often watch on YouTube when I have the time. Dave, I love you so, so much, man. I really hope that you're having a good evening. Thank you so much for 21 months. That is such a long time to support me, and I'm very, very grateful to you. How have you been, Dave? How's life treating you? You getting on okay? Welcome back. Restarted the game four times and the chance of saving him, says Brock. You go, Brock, what do you mean you restarted the game four times? To save Rio? No, you did not. Brock, no you did not. Not four times. Brother. Brother, not four times. Is this real life? Okay. Lotmon, let's get involved here. See what you can do. Blazing Ice. Makes it easier to provide allies with backup as the passive deals water damage to the target. Uh, this actually could be good against uh, this guy. Big damage, yeah. Oh my god, we got the crit. That's fucking juicy. You love to see it. I'm actually loving this. This is great. In fact, there's a whole last segment guide that for installation scares me. What of the chances increase of their damage or if that doesn't change anything? 
Do you know what, Catquire? That is a good point, actually. That's a whole. That's actually a really good point, Catquire. Maybe because we damaged the Kugumon, the chances of her joining the party were better. I never actually considered that. Can anybody confirm that's the case, chat? I never even thought about that. Uh, what is your attacks, actually? Marching Fishes deals water damage to the target. Uh, we have no heals, but I'd love a heal for Beomon, but I think we're just going to go for damage here. There we go, nice. These sound effects of the, the Digimon taking damage are very strange, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I think what we do here is we come over and we finish this guy off with a regular attack. Yep. I'm doing well being setting up my own security company and had five hours sleep the past three days. Dave, I uh, I feel your pain, man. I haven't ever set up my own security company. That's pretty exciting. You can tell me a bit more about that if you like. Um, but I will say in the last the last like three days, Dave, I have been sitting on my computer non-stop, mate. I was talking about this a little bit earlier. I won't bore all the viewers with the same chit-chat again, but I have bit, I've literally been no life in my computer in related to Twitch, YouTube, and social media the last few days. It has been, it feels like it's been paying off, which feels good, but I know what you mean to be busy. It's really weird, guys, because last weekend I was so relaxed that now that Digimon's arrived, there's like so much work to do. There's always something I could be doing better, and uh, it's a bit hectic, you know? Let's see if we can kill this guy. It's, it's close. Oh, we get him, nice. We get boosted. Do you see that? So we get a boost from our friends, and that actually allows us to kill this guy. That was a great fight. I loved that. I really liked that. How's the security company going, Dave? That's excellent. You're a fucking an absolute legend, dude. I really hope that goes well, man. Very bold, ambitious uh, move. But you know what? That's the case of all things that are great. You know, they start off small. Hell yeah. Now work until 8 in the morning. I might have to be up at like 9 a.m. today as well, guys. And it's already like probably close to 1, 2 a.m. I don't have my phone with me, so I can't check. But I think I'm going to have to be up early in the morning. I really don't want to be, but I don't have a choice. Alright, so Gomamon goes up to level 11, uh, Lotmon goes up to level 12. We get a growth stone, and of course we get Tokugamon, which is excellent. Mm. I googled to see if I could have helped them, says Jesse. Somebody told me yesterday that you can help him, assuming that you have, um, you're on New Game Plus. I don't know if that's actually true. Liner, welcome back to the stream, great to see you. Nice to see you. It keeps saying there's a file missing from the folder, but it's clearly there, I can see it. Hmm. Okay, thanks, Jess. It looks like we've got actually Deltamon is available to be captured as well now, guys. Kind of crazy. Um, so many Digimon we don't have. Well, actually, like Deltamon is one of the only ones we don't have yet, and Metamon is available as well. We didn't get Metamon, but we can obviously digivolve into these Digimon also. We could get another Betamon if we wanted to and evolve him into Deltamon, which would probably make him stronger in the long run. But that is an aw that's an awful lot of work. I always like the idea of growing my Digimon myself organically, I don't know why. Maybe that's because over the years Pokemon has trained me to catch my own Pokemon and then raise them up for EVs and all that stuff, but I don't know, maybe I'm just a psychopath. <sighs> okay, I think what we do now guys is although we could free battle again, we're just going to go into our menu, we'll make sure that we save our game uh, in here, status data, yeah let's go ahead and save, we'll save over this one. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to travel, which is going to consume our slot. Now we could obviously, we could hang out with Minoru, we could hang out with Lopmon. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is, or we could hang out with Floramon for example as well. I think what I'd rather do is go to the area, the forest, and check out some of these other segments. Um, I don't want to leave myself high and dry. We know Agamon is at the shrine, so I think we should go and do that first. And if this consumes all of my remaining slots and progresses the game, then I will simply uh, load the game up. But I want to make sure, I want to test this. We're doing a bit of science here. I was scared that if we actually progress too fast, we could lose some slots by not using them. And I'm going to test that right now. I'm sure I've come a long way looking for Agamon. I doubt he'd have gone much farther than this. Hmm, I think I hear something. There he is. Oh, that's him. He must be doing the humming out here to himself. There he is. Hey, Agabro. Agamon, what are you up to? Oh, he's just out here jacking off. Oh, Takuma, the uh, the lube the lube and the handkerchiefs, it's not what it looks like. You mean you weren't doing arts and crafts? Of a kind? With my penis? Oh shit, choice ribs three, what is all this? I was thinking this might actually cheer some people up and this is all the stuff I found. 
So it looks like we're just getting an item for this purely. I was kind of hoping this would be a little bit more impactful. Maybe like a Digivolution stone or something. Thanks, Agamon. I'm sure everyone will love what you found. Okay, I think those giant ribs that I just... <laughs> what else have we got here? Okay, there are things in the area. Maybe this isn't a total waste of time. I really don't want another random battle because we just did that. And although I do love the battles, I'm not really that fussed. What are we getting? Another Sincerity Melon. Okay, so we have tons of items we need to equip. I'll do that just now. Something over here as well. The Shadow. Okay, so there is a battle here if we want to take it. Let's just avoid that for the time being. I don't really think we need to. And the only thing we could get from this is doing... Is gaining XP. It's, the, it's literally the only thing we could do. Did I actually mean to leave that area? Oops. Oh, it looks like this is actually not going to consume my time as well. Let's see if going to the woods will consume a slot. I don't think it will. Okay, nice. Uh, there's nothing in this area whatsoever. What I want to do then is if I go back, is this going to consume one of my last slots? No, it's not. Okay, cool. So we can actually choose who we want to hang out with. Uh, I actually don't know where to spend my last point. I think it's going to be with uh, either Floramon or Labramon. Floramon is the... I mean, they're both Digimon of Douchebag. Saki is obviously Floramon's connected partner. I think what I'm going to do here is, before we pro progress any further, we should probably have a look at equipping all of our items and stuff. Because we have a ton of stuff available to us. So let's have a look at Agamon and have a look at all of our options. So we've got a ton of items to equip. See all these uh, items with a one guard break, for example. Venom Trap, Speed Break, etc. All of these items are all equipable. Look at all this stuff. We've been given so much shit. Speed break for lowering speed. Yeah, okay. Let's give him Beloved Crystal D. Or speed break. Yeah, speed break. Okay, done. And then you can have the... Not that I would think the healing crystal would be better on the tanks. I don't really want to use this because this is the DLC item. So I'll just leave that for the time being. That took me a long time and I'm so sorry for this. Who is important enough to us to spend our last time? We have the option for Floramon. I actually don't know if Labramon is a hangout slot or not. Let's let's check that. I think it is. So Labramon will consume a slot. She's probably going to give me an item. I don't know if I care about that. Can I speak to either of the girls again? Uh, let's see. So Aoi, no. And Saki, no. I mean, we could try. Let's just see. I was feeling pretty down, but talking with you helped my spirits, thanks. Okay, so there's nothing to gain from this. Um, Aoi. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't stop. It's okay. It really wasn't your fault. Okay, Saki's got her back. Okay, nice. That's fine. We don't have to worry about that too much. We've tried talking to the twins. I will give them another chance here. Hey, Chewie, what's up? Late stream today. Yeah, I had a nap earlier. And I slept in longer than I intended. I'm not going to lie. But I am glad to be here also. Chewie, what's up? What you been up to, man? Did you have a good weekend? My sister and I will be in the cafeteria. Alright, fine. I think it's time we just talk to... Um, I say we just talk to either Labramon or Floramon. I think because Floramon is new, we try Floramon. See if this can give us an insight into Saki a little bit more as well. Or maybe even Drachmon. No. Okay, this is our last hangout slot, guys, so we're going to consume it here. Hey, Floramon, what are you doing? Takuma, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. It's some sort of strange power. I wonder what it could be. Well, it's really bothering me. Are Floramon and the others sensing something as humans can't? Anyways, what brings you here, Takuma? Kaito asked me to get everyone together. He says if we're all at the cafeteria by noon, he'll go look for Mio himself. If we're not at together at the cafeteria. Love the arts is fatal. Yeah, me too, fatal. It's definitely one of the best parts about the game, I think. Mm. I'm excited, says Dancing Cat, where I got the chance to make a new D&D character for a small mini-adventure I'm hoping to do with the skill tree group. Just give me a break from DMing for a short period. Yeah, nice one, Catquire. What does your character do? A level 11 adventurer, so I thought I'd make something pretty unorthodox instead of... Instead, so I made it a multi-class. Six, uh, six in Monk, Astro Soul, and five in Cleric. Oh, sick, dude. Sounds like a pretty good, uh, pretty good balance. I like it. Okay. Well, that's, if that's what you think, Takuma, maybe things will be alright. Thanks for listening to me. Okay. So did I get anything? But I guess not. That was just a speak to me in past time. Feels oddly filler, but okay, I guess. Minoru is best boy, says Demon, and Fogmon is decent. Proxy, thank you for the resub, mate. You're a legend. <laughs> what time did you start? About, uh, 
I think like two minutes to midnight. Wolf Cook as well. Hey guys, I'm sorry I've not been paying attention to the chat tonight, guys. I'm just really absorbed in the game, and there's a lot to get through. If I split my time 50-50, see when I'm doing these like um, what I like to consider the administrative parts of the game. You know when there's like inventory management, class management, perk allocation, any kind of like micro da 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 da. It's so much better if I can just talk as I think, get it done, get it out of the way, and then I come back to the chat. So if you guys have said hi and I've missed you guys, I apologize. I really, I really am grateful for you guys being here, I promise. <laughs> Wolfcook, how's it going, man? It's nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. I agreed with the way of thinking, says Dave. Uh, life is too short without taking some calculated risks, and it feels great to step out of the comfort zone and figure out how much more potential is hiding inside of you. Dave, 100% agree, and I really, really do wish you the best. Keep us posted on how it goes, and Dave, no matter what, right, like we've just talked about, not that I'm setting you up for failure, but let's say it doesn't work out, Dave, do not lose hope, alright? Take take pride in the fact that you tried, because there are so many people out there that sit at their boring job that they hate, and they're like, you know, they're like, oh well, I probably could become a pilot if I wanted, I'm just not gonna try. And then they spend their whole life, wish, they spend their whole life wishing they had tried to become a pilot. And then suddenly before they know it, it's too late, it's gone, the opportunity, they're too old or whatever. So the fact that you're giving it a shot is really good and uh, I super respect it. You got this. If your company pops off, Dave, right? <laughs> if your company pops off and you become a multi-billionaire, just remember Jackie Boy, okay? That's all I'm saying. Just uh, keep the sub going. <laughs> if you have millions in the bank, obviously. <laughs> but uh, good luck with that, for sure. Real talk, good luck, Dave. You're a legend. Thank you for the 21 months. Very different kind of Digimon game than usual. V very dialogue rich, heavy. Uh, very dialogue rich. Get to know everyone else is fatal. Yeah, Proxy, thanks for the resub, man. We started pretty late tonight, Proxy. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I I've been knackered all day. What's happened since Rio lost his shit? Not too much. We've done a lot of kind of um, organization of the group, Proxy. There's been a lot of like nonsensical dialogue. Some of the characters have been talking to us. We've been getting to know people. Done a free battle. Recruited to know Digimon. Equipped all of our characters with a bunch of items so now they are uber more powerful than they were when we started and now we're just about to dive headlong straight into the plot so good timing kishan's his name says kakwar okay cool nice i'm reading the rest of your comment kakwar but we'll uh nice how could we say no? You seem so desperate. <laughs> How can you want to talk? You were a bundle of nerves until just now. Okay. Minoru was pretty upset before. It looks like he's been in better shape. Not to mention the others. Aoi oh, seems to have calmed down a little bit. Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Okay, it looks like the girl, the girlies have got each other's backs. I kind of like that. That's good. I really didn't want to get you all involved in this, but... Thanks. Kaito's coming back around, Charlie. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Much love. I even sell my shoes to keep the sub going. <laughs> I was only joking. I was only teasing about the sub, Dave. But I really do hope it works out, man. You're a hero. No need to be sarcastic. Saki is one of these characters that flames the main character 24-7 and then see as soon as someone else steps out of line, she's quick to tell them, be nice to the rest of the group. But I like her. I do like Saki, I do. She's, I'm warming to her. She's just, sometimes she's painful. Sometimes she is pa painful. We all knew you were anxious to start the look for the search for Mia. Sorry we took so long. No, it's cool. After what happened yesterday, I get it. Of course we're going to help you out, bro. Oh no, Shuji's not going to help you out, he's a dick. Hmm. Okay, this is the part of the game where Shuji just reinforces that it's very dangerous and he doesn't want to split up and leave. But uh, we have to try and talk him down. Oh no, not this again. Oh. Shuji makes a point, but we've talked about this. So many times. He's talked about this so many times, chat. What's to say Mio hasn't already wound up like Ryo? Shuji! I feel like he's gonna get punched in the face here. <laughs> so you're saying Mio is objectively doomed? Mio is objectively doomed. <laughs> oh no, Haru's scared. Scared. I'm scared about Haru Miyuki. I like that I like that Kaito had a moment to pause and calm down for the sake of the children. That's cool. 
Shuji on the other. Shuji on the other hand. Shuji is talking all about how he's got a huge responsibility for looking after the group while also actively sabotaging the mentality and mental state of the group. He's also obsessed with being the leader, although it's quite clear at this point that he is not indeed the leader. It's very hard to love Shuji at this point in time, guys, but we'll try and give him the benefit of the doubt. You guys are like Jack, fuck that, I hate him. Mm. I would, guys, I'm gonna be honest, right? I have met people in my life that are older than me throughout high school, throughout university, throughout any kind of my childhood, right? People that are older than me that are absolute fucking dumbasses. And if I lived in, a, in an Asian country where this kind of, um, you know, the elderly respect your... Not the respect in the elders is a bad thing because we have that kind of principle in the West as well, but, like, you know how in, like... Japanese Korean high schools they have the whole like senpai if I'm a first year and you're a second year you're way above me kind of thing if if I had people in my life that were older than me that I was supposed to so you know from a social point of view if I was obliged to respect them but they were absolute idiots that demanded absolutely zero respect I would fucking hate it I'm not gonna lie I like the idea of being polite guys I love the idea of being respectful whenever I meet people in real life right when I'm not playing games I'm, I feel like I'm quite a calm person but like, see if there was someone who kept telling me I am your senior and therefore you will look up to me and tell and do as I say, I would lose my pa my patience with that pretty quickly. Not about that life. Please don't try not to get so worked up. He's me as older brother, that's why he's so desperate. Mm. <laughs> Shuji is as much a leader as Ryo is alive. Can't grow too soon, man. <laughs> Far too soon. <laughs> We're never gonna get anywhere if this keeps up. Nagamon's like, guys, please stop fighting. I also hate that as well, guys. I'm gonna be honest, right? That's a bit of a neck. You know when you've got, like, you know when there's a friend group and there's two people arguing? And then there's a third party person person within the group that starts getting really fucking angry because everybody else is arguing, so then they start fighting about people fighting. Not really a fan of that either. I can understand people getting pissed off at your friends. If, you're, if you take your friends out for a meal, and let's say there's two friends that always bicker and then they start causing a scene, obviously you're going to get annoyed about that, you're going to get irritated. But you know when there's that there's that guy that's like, oh guys, for fuck's sake, can we just please, we can't, please! And then they storm off in the huff in a third direction and you're just like... Alright, cool. Nice. So everybody's completely socially combusted at this point. Not that that happens, but you do always get that one or that, that one guy or that one girl that's like that. Guys, I'm sorry, but I really need you to stop fighting at once. <clears throat> and then they go away and get angry. And then you have to calm them down or they start crying. Should I say with Kaito, respect Shuji's opinion? Absolutely not. I'm a fucking respect in Shuji's opinion. Or try to enlist the help from somebody else. Ah, okay, so let's have a look at this. <gasps> So we can side with Kaito, honor Shuji's point, or try to enlist help. There's no fucking way I'm siding with Shuji. He is... Oh, see, here's the thing, guys. Like, I feel like Shuji pisses me off so much and I have zero interest in helping him. But at the same time, I don't want him to die. I feel like if we all turn against him now, he's fucking doomed. And I really don't want that to happen. There's no way I'm going to back Shuji up right now, though. There's no way. He's so painful. I could try to enlist the help of others. I don't know what that means. Let's see. This, this is not what I expected this to do. It looks like I'm panicking and I hate that. It looks like we're trying to deflect responsibility, which I also hate. I feel like I should have, I should be siding with Kaito here. I really should have sided with Kaito. But I thought it was going to give me the option to maybe speak to other people first. What do you say we take a vote? A vote? I don't know. People's lives are on the line. What do you mean a vote, Saki? You're not about democracy? Just kidding. Minoru. I don't know what to say. Anyways, why don't we split up? One group can stay here while the other stays... Uh, one group can search while the other stay here. Mm. I don't like that. If we're going to look for me, we should all go. How are you against all my ideas? Why don't you even have to ask my opinion, Entagama? 
I mean, I was just wondering what you thought. I didn't say I was going to agree with it, mate. Forget it. I know I asked you for help, but it's not worth all the trouble. So long. Out of my way. Oh! Is Aoi pulling it together here? Yep, nice. She sure shut them up. That was quite impressive. So we chose to we sh we chose to speak to Minoru here. I thought we were gonna get the opportunity to get a bonus from someone else, but the game just said fuck you. This is a uh, sometimes you, you know games like this sometimes where you have to gauge whether something is the right choice or not. Uh, Persona is one, is another example. Sometimes you pick something that you think is like it's got to be like ninety five percent good, and then the game's just like nope, psych. Like some of them there's just curveballs that you cannot expect, and then you pick an option and it's like you know the true option that will give you the most benefit is like so dumbass. I'm not saying that as an example of what just happened here. I think that Shuji would have been a good choice as well, but sometimes you pick the dialogue options and it makes no sense. Like some of the characters you literally say to them, fuck you, and they're like, oh my god, I love it. What's the point of you two fighting like this? We're wasting time. Is, is fighting with Shuji going to help rescue Miu? I mean, I don't think that... I don't know if I agree with this. I think that... We all, we're all, we all were, we all agreed with Shuji that we were going to go out and look for his sister at at midday after we reconvened, and to change the plan now is a bit bullshit. I don't also think that um, Kaito is fighting with Shuji. I think Shuji's fighting with Kaito. Everybody had a plan, and then Shuji was like, "Actually, I don't want to go outside." So I don't. Obviously, Aoi's trying to, she's trying to calm the peace by attacking both characters, but I don't even think I believe this to be honest. Oh no. Should you keep talking about how dangerous it is, but do you ever intend to leave? What's going to happen here is Aoi's going to control the group. And then we're all going to be unified under Aoi, which is cute. But at the same time... At the same time, if we all... If we all convene, I feel like in a realistic situation, a lot of these opinions and egos wouldn't change. Like, they're making Aoi out like she's the hero saving the team right now, the leader. But I feel like in reality this wouldn't happen. I think that people would still say fuck you and walk off in different directions. But it is just a drama after all. It's not an actual realistic situation. At least that's what I think. We need to try and find a... Uh, uh, we need to try and find a way home. At least that's what I think. Right. You're right. Me too. Oh, thank God. I honestly thought for a second Kaito was going to wander off by himself there and, like, die or something, so the fact that he's not anymore is good. Minoru, who gave you fin the final say? Go man, go man. Where do we go? Oh yeah, the amusement park is where we're off to. Connor, the Tentamon guy, after me, you got... Yeah, sure. That's where she was headed. Tentamon was the one who said it was the shiny place, right? <laughs> the shiny place. Okay. Alright, Jesse, take it easy, enjoy. Peace. Hope you had a good birthday, Jess. Hmm. A giant ring in the shiny place. I'm guessing that's the Ferris wheel. Okay. The ghost kids are not too, too fond of the, the amusement park. I'm guessing the amusement park is going to be riddled with death. They don't know what does it mean they've never been to an amusement park? Mm. Okay, so somehow Mio has made it all the way to the amusement park by herself. Hi everyone, good luck. Okay. Just as a quick development here, guys, in regards to the two kids, right, like Haru and his sister. Haru and his sister appeared when the uh, when Ryo died, and Haru had some really, really tough, hard love for Ryo, okay? Uh, Haru spit some fucking lyrics that were really off and a little bit weird, um, just to highlight that really quickly. As Ryo was dying, Haru was not very sympathetic. This little boy here, he was kind of like... 
some of the shit he said, I mean, you guys can see it if you check out yesterday, but... Isn't that right, everyone? No objections from me? Okay. Yeah, these two are subdued, but there's a bit of evil to these characters. Maybe not evil, but there's a lot of extra depth to them that I think we'll uncover as we play. Do we know their way to the amusement park? We saw it from the radio tower yesterday. Finding it will not be a problem. I'm pretty sure there's a path through the forest that leads in the direction. <laughs> Proxy, you hate the entire... <laughs> I hate those ghosts. <laughs> Proxy, you hate the entire cast, let's be honest. Right, so we just gotta get through the forest. I'll take point, you guys stay close. Okay, actually that reminds me he was acting kind of weird yesterday. Yeah, he absolutely was. Haru? What? Yeah, maybe we can explain here. Liner says amusement park hype. Okay. What happened exactly? Miyuki always was always kind of strange, but sometimes Haru just seems off. Like he suddenly says something mature or act like he's seen through things. I'm not really sure, sorry. He's giving away nothing, chat. Sorry. Is he not aware of himself? Okay, we have to hurry up. Let's go. The plot waits for no one. Just kidding. We need to hurry. Let's go. The only time Haru smiles is when he talks to his sister. Other than that, he seems a bit, you know. Okay, nice. I like Kunamon. And Aoi isn't bad. Okay, saved. What's the level split for your character? Says Wolfcook to Kakwa. Wolfcook, how are you today, man? What's been happening? Have you been uh, playing Survive, Wolfcook? I'm sorry if you've answered this question already, mate. I feel like we've been walking forever and we're still not at the amusement park. Let's just leave on all play for the time being. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll try pro proxy. You want to see if there's another way? That's true. Poor lot, man. Okay. Okay. Should we stop the rest? We don't have time to rest, we gotta keep moving. Moving on up, moving on up, it's time to break free. Sorry, my sister and I can't walk very fast, we have small evil ghost legs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've just had 20 lines of dialogue just to basically summarize that everybody's tired, the kids are, are tired, and Kaito still wants to find the sister. Okay, do we have to make a decision here? Should we keep on like this or try to find another way? Let's have a look and see. Do we just turn back? There's no way we're turning back. Are you out of your fucking mind? Press on like this, find another way. I think we have to just shut the fuck up, stop bitching and go on. Let's go. We to... Yeah, we have to keep going. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking a break, but I do agree. Yeah, we can't stop for like five hours for a fucking piss break all the time. We could slow the pace down a bit, yes. Okay, that was a pretty good... I feel like that was a pretty good resolution. Okay. They do so much arguing about arguing in this game, it's unreal. Although I do think that would be the case in real life. If you had quite an immature group. People fighting about fighting. Alright, so we had a, an entire interaction there, which was completely and utterly senseless, but... There is a bit of a... Uh, there was a little bit of building there, but like, that's some of the stuff that I'm like, see if they cut that out of the game, or if I remove that from editing, people wouldn't even notice. 
Still not seen any amusement park. I think they're trying to impress upon the fact that we are travelling quite far and it's quite an exhausting journey, so the game is pressing a little bit of emphasis on that. It's not an easy, you know, it's not a cakewalk to get there. They're, they're getting a bit beaten up along the way. I don't think I've ever seen here before, or I've ever been here before. I wonder if there's any neat stuff around. Oh. Yeah, okay, Saki's complaining again. Oh, and now she's ill. I think Saki has COVID. I think we better take a break. Sure. So even though I literally just, even though I just analyzed all the dis all the decisions and decided not to take a break, the game's actually saying, "By the way, we're gonna take a break." These two, Shuji and Kaito are both pressing on with no signs of slowing down. I can understand why Kaito would be in a hurry, but why Shuji? Okay. No need to be harsh. Yeah, she's right. Besides, we're all pretty wiped out. Mm. Well, I hadn't pl planned on resting until we'd reached the amusement park, but maybe. Sounds like even Shuji's starting to waver. Should we stop for a break or press on? I'd kind of like to look around here. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Let's take a break. When most of the group are dying, literally, of pain, and some of them are looking ill, we should probably stop for a rest, I think we call it here. That may be for the best. Huh? Look over there. Oh shit. Look at me, Yuki fell asleep again. Alright, cool. I get it. Okay. Alright, so we're all in agreement we can have a rest, thank fuck. Okay, even the ghost kids want to rest, that's fine. Okay, there's someone else I'm worried about too. Lotmon, yeah, Shuji's Digimon. Lotmon has been getting the tail end of the stick every single time. Oh man, not like this, never like this. I'm sorry, Shuji, I wound up slowing you down again. Oh boy. Just shut up and get some rest. Well, at least he's talking back to the Digimon now. He's actually acknowledging the Digimon. Uh, which is maybe a start on the path of, you know, not being a knob all the time, but we'll see. Okay. Sounds like he's still going to have it rough between you and the amusement park. Wait, what did it actually tell me there? Sounds like he's still going to have it rough. Okay, so Lotmon is a boy. Cool. Good to know. I feel like Lotmon could have been a girl, but maybe that would have been, that would have been too harsh. I don't know. Um, I'm good. Just woke up from work all night. Start my days off. So, at, uh, and at Dancing Character Bar, so are you going to be able to have your healing spells? That's good. I'm, I'm glad that you've got time off, Wolf. Good times, man. Alright, so what are our options there? Shuji, Aoi, Minoru, Iron Bridge. Let's have a look at the Iron Bridge. What's happening over here? Okay, so this is the same scene we were on earlier. I actually cannot talk to Kaito. Um, so my I've just got three options: Aoi, Minoru, Shuji. Let's talk to uh, Let's talk to. Do you know what? We need to actually get to know Shuji a bit more. Let's talk to Shuji. Sakuma, something bothering you? I was just thinking maybe we should be spending some time with Lotmon right now. Yeah, this is another reason why we should maybe talk to Shuji because we just acknowledged that Lotmon is sad, so maybe we could try and get to know him here. That's not necessary. But it seems like his legs were really hurting. Doesn't that bother you? So his stupid little legs hurt. So what? He's a monster. He'll get over it. You don't have to be so nasty about it, bro. The stupid thing's nothing but a burden anyway. He can't do anything useful like Agamon or Falcomon. Why did I get stuck with this lousy monster? Jesus. I was hoping to make this better, but this is just making me more mad. <laughs> Fucking hell, Shuji. Why are you like this? Sounds like Shuji may need more time before he's ready to open up. Oh, for God's sake. Can we talk to him again? What is it? Was there something else? If I'm worried about him, would it just make him feel worse? It's okay. We all agreed to go find Miyu, and that's what we're going to do. It's fine. As the oldest one here, I'll look out for all of you. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry, I'm the leader. Okay. All right, that's fine. So after that, we have just Minoru and Aoi. I don't know if there's a choice here to be made, but let's talk to Aoi first. She was popping off earlier. We'll go for her a bit of time. 
Sakuma, I wanted to thank you for do, doing what you did this morning. I didn't really do anything special. Uh, I couldn't stop crying, it was kind of embarrassing. But thank you for looking after me. Okay. I've been wondering though, yesterday, Tentamon said Miyu. Oh yeah, where did Tentamon go? I forgot about Tentamon. Tentamon said Miyu ran to the shiny place, but are we really sure that's the amusement park? <sighs> Shouldn't we have discussed this at the work in so earlier, Aoi? Why are you bringing this up now? Sometimes Agamon says stuff that I don't understand at all. I don't think it's like this though. Yeah, we did. We're probably overthinking things. Is that is that the game planting a seed that perhaps uh, Miyu might actually not be at the amusement park? That would be kind of cringe. I don't know why Aoi would say that if there wasn't some truth to it. Unless it was actually completely and utterly nonsense. What do you think? What's going on with uh, Arukinimon yesterday? Well, she did call us sacrifices, so clearly she's an enemy. I wonder why, though. Good question. Seems like some of the monsters, like Agamon and Falcomon, are friendly. Others are willing to help us, even if they don't want to be friends like Tentamon. And obviously, some of the bad guys are assholes. I mean, enemies. I guess it's the same with the monsters, yeah. In other words, some monsters like us and others don't. Thanks for that, Captain Obvious. Alright, Minoru. Excellent, that was really important, Kappa. Let's get moving. But we just stopped. Alright, Kaito wants to soldier on immediately. Shuji's slowly losing. Shuji's slowly losing it, yeah. I agree, yeah. I hope he can't. I, thought, I hope Shuji comes back to Earth soon, guys, or he's literally going to be dead. He's going to be lost to us. It's going to get to the point where either he starts apologizing for all of his bad behavior and we welcome him back into the group. Or he's going to keep being an asshole, eventually I'm going to lose complete interest in him whatsoever, and then he's going to die. Which at this point, maybe I'm down for. I don't know. I'd like to save him if I can. I don't want to lose hope for the, the people who need the most help, but at the same time, Jesus. He's really dragging his feet here. Anyways, we can't be wasting our time here when we got such a long way to go. Kaito's right. That's also a good point. If we take too long getting there, the sun's going to go down and then we'll be left lost in the woods or surrounded by enemy monsters without any fucking knowledge of what's going on. That does seem pretty bad. Yeah, we should stop. We should keep going and not stop for much longer. Okay, I think I'm most worried about Lotmon Miyuki Saki. I think I Saki did say she was ill. But I, I'm honestly truly most worried about Lotmon here. I'm going to be honest, guys. Saki was feeling ill, and the other character was tired, but Lotmon, I feel like we really need to look after him. I saw tears in his eyes, that concerns me. Are your legs any better? Oh no. Yeah, I can walk fine now. Oh no. Sure, that's the least you could do. I don't see why you're telling me about it, Shuji. I hate you. Why does Shuji always have to be such a fucking clown? It is proof that he's built but little room in his heart for Lotmon, but do not be dismayed. Right. Shuji's as demanding as ever, but it does look like we can get moving. Okay. Let's go, Shuji. Alright, let's go. Sure. Bit of an interesting development there. We didn't really get any, uh, uh, we didn't get any, like, affection points with anyone there. It was just purely, purely, like, like, we didn't get anything back from that. So either we picked all the options wrong, or there wasn't any weight to any of those discussions. I have no idea. I thought for sure we were in for, uh, more, and for, I thought for sure we were in for more of Forest after we got over this pass, but it seems... Oh, there we go. Holy shit, wow. Serious near Automata. <laughs> Fucking vibes right now. <laughs> Finally, I can see the amusement park. <laughs> that took for just about forever. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Throw him off the Ferris wheel. <laughs> it does suck, Liner, yeah. I agree. I'm hoping it gets better, I really am guys, I'm, I'm hoping out for a while. I really hope they're not gonna fucking carry this on much longer. Mew's in there somewhere, don't worry sis, I'm coming for you. Agamon wants to go in the Ferris wheel. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Look at the colourful buildings. Okay, sure. Saki seems to be much better now. 
Saki, who was dying of COVID 10 seconds ago, is suddenly okay. Maybe if you had spoke to Saki, it would have... If you had spoken to Saki, maybe she would have been, like, a lot more perkier. She'd be like, nah, I'm fine now, I just needed a rest. Try to imagine Kaito must be feeling okay. Sure. So it's quite good here, I quite like this. See, see Drachmon? Drachmon is constantly standing up to Ka Kaito and he's trying to calm him down all the time. Which I really appreciate. This is the sign of a good partner, Digimon. Ah, he speaks sense, it's good. And Kaito's like, I know. Mm. Falcomon as well, actually lecturing his uh, his human here. <laughs> okay, Labramon, need, no need for that. Okay. We're nearly there. Okay. Since we've got no idea of who or what might be inside, we should be careful. Okay, sure. Nice. Well, we made it, chat. Apparently this part of the game is quite fun, so I'm excited. Dreamland. Excellent. This really is an amusement park, even if it does look a bit run down. Compared to the state the schools in, this place is practically brand new. Seeing the cable car was surprising enough, but something about this place is just weird. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Why is that? Amusement parks can be quite nerve wracking for people. I think if it's the first time you've been, let's say you're someone who's never been on a roller coaster before and you're going with a group of people who love roller coasters or like high attractions, that could kind of freak you out a little bit. I think a lot of people might feel a little bit uneasy going to like amusement parks. I definitely felt that the first time I went. You know, I felt pressure to go on the big roller coasters, but once you go on a big roller coaster, you feel like you can handle them all, so it's not that big of a deal. And it's always super fun, so. Alright, moving on up. Oh yeah, it does look a bit dead, doesn't it? Yeah, there's something ominous about this. It's weird seeing it like this, I guess. Yeah. You would be creeped out if you were going through something like this. Okay. Wait, Minoru. Oh, off he goes. What a fucking idiot. Classic, dude. Maybe Minoru. I think what one of the traits that Minoru's been highlighted as having so far is like cowardice. He's quite a quite a kind of cowardly character, even though he wants to be a hero. And now I feel like that's gonna maybe start to play against him because he's gonna try and prove to everyone constantly that he's not scared. Uh, and then that <laughs> often leads to overconfidence, and then he ends up getting trapped or something. Okay, so he's not convincing me here, but he's like, "Look, we can get him for free." Alright. Minoru's trying to play it cool, but I can see the way his legs are shaking. Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't notice. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> what should we do now? Oh, I don't know, maybe walking through the front door for fuck's sake. Let's go. Jesus. Okay, looks like we're splitting into groups. That's fine. We should all stick together. Oh, fucking Christ. Every single time. How are we not on the ball about this? We've spent so many times talking about whether we're going to go in groups or go as pairs or... Fucking Jesus. <gasps> Palmon! <laughs> Nani? Landing strip Dave's favourite Digimon? Not one more step, motherfucker. Holy shit, dude. It's the fucking Gen 1ers. What now? More monsters? Those are a little on the small side. Kawaii! <laughs> Labramon's like, uh, excuse me, are you cheating on me, bitch? She's like, no! I can see why that would be our initial reaction, but... What are these things? Dude, this is the fucking G-Unit Hustler. These are the fucking- this is the Alpha Squad, the OGs. Come on, man, look at them. Fucking love it, dude. They look very grumpy, though. <laughs> Kaito's like, if you want to put them up, then put them up. Clearly, you're up to no good. That means we're enemies. 
<gasps> Are we going to have a battle against them? It looks like this is going to be your standard... Uh, I'll talk about it in a second, right? Who knows? No, you're just trying to play dumb. You can't fool us. Dude, this is the most exciting thing that's happened today. Okay. Right, look at this. Okay, interesting. There's no, there's no bad monsters allowed in here. God bless. Do you think these guys would stand up to a bigger Digimon that came wandering through here like a Skull Greymon or something? I don't see it. I think what you've got here is your classic scenario where um, these are the good guys, but they are trying to protect from the bad guys and they have to fight you for you to prove that you're, you know, good and kind. And then they're suddenly allies. I think that's what's about to happen here. How is this suddenly about whether or not we're kidnappers? We're looking for a girl who's kidnapped a child by... Oh, kidnapped... I'm by a monster called Arakenimon. Her name is Mia. <laughs> you think we're working for her? Then the truth comes out. This is one of these classic moments in anime where I'm just like, see if they actually just spoke to one another and some of the humans here used their words. They could save a whole amount of bickering, but I'm guessing it's not going to go that smoothly. Mm. Yep. Okay, I wasn't kidding by anyone. Or I wasn't kidnapped by anyone, excuse me. These are our partners. These are trustworthy creatures who mean you no harm. Oh, maybe we don't have to fight them. But what's going on? That's not what we heard from the Queen. The Queen? Who's the Queen, chat? What should we do? What should I do? <laughs> this calls for a council of war. Are they gonna do a... Are they gonna do a huddle here? Now they're arguing about something. It doesn't seem like they're all that bad. What's our plan here? Okay. You mean us? <laughs> Look at the two children they've kidnapped. Don't mind Haru and Miyuki. This is how they look on a good day. That, what makes you so sure she's not? Oh no. Oh, Minoru. What have you done? Mm -hmm. What did that say? Our wise and invincible sorceress of of a queen will not speak lies, okay? But if we don't stay on our good side, she'll turn us all to stone. She doesn't seem like she's that kind. <laughs> Forget I said that. What the fuck? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, she used her powers to restore her friend who had been turned into a rock. This seems quite important. Okay. Interesting, that's quite unusual. Maybe that's an insight into what the Digimon is like. If it is a Digimon, I'm assuming it will be. Some sort of Earth Digimon, maybe? Or maybe some sort of Angel Digimon? Hmm. Okay, so where does this leave us then? <laughs> Kaito, my spirit animal. He's like, I don't give a fuck about any of this. Can we hurry up? Okay, absolutely not. Who knows what may become of us if we're allowed to trespass here. This is a lot of talking, guys, about getting into the fucking theme park. Can we move this along? Jesus Christ. I get the whole point of the joke here, right? But like, do we need to string it out? Please. Okay. If you want to get in, you'll have to go through us. See, I knew this was coming, but to get to it, we had to sit through like 40 more lines than was necessary. Okay, what do you think? Alright, obviously it's best to avoid a fight, but if they attack us, we'll have no choice. It'd be nice if Agamon could find a way to convince them, though. 
Uh, honestly, I'm happy to try and fight them. But uh, let's go for Agamon work this out. I think regardless of what you pick here, you're probably going to end up fighting them based on anything. If you say we don't want, they're just going to say fuck you, we're going to attack you. If we fight them, if we say you asked for this, we're going to fight them regardless. If Agamon tries to negotiate, I think we're still going to end up fighting. So I really don't think it's going to matter. Let's go for this. Maybe Agamon can appeal. Agamon? Okay. Okay, the Digimon are going to try. あるけにもんの仲間でもないよ。そんな話したって本当のことだもん。え。あるけにもんは逃げたけど、あるけにもんの仲間は倒したぞ。オッケー。みんなでガッツンとね。ウェイ、ウィオワークトゥギャザーズ
Not another step. One wrong move and you're asking for it. One little slip. Patmon kind of reminds me of Chicken Little. Although, if, I guess if anybody was going to be Chicken Little, it would be Beomon. I can't believe they're literally... They're returning to this exact scene. It's literally the same discussion we had 10 seconds ago, but they're just dragging out again. Ah, oh, yes, embrace Kaito's energy. This is exactly how I feel, Kaito. I'm glad somebody said that that wasn't just me. Kaito? Yep. Miyu probably died three days ago. Okay. <laughs> Bamon's like, yeah, you don't scare me. <laughs> you do seem pretty scared. I feel kind of bad for them. Oh man, I don't even want to try and calm Kaito down at this point. Slay Queen Slay. Oh Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Right, okay, so we have to fight them. Absolutely fine. Although it seems like these guys are going to be chumps. I gotta get Kaito to calm down for now. Okay, wait, oh, do we actually... Oh, we're not even going to fight them, we're just talking. Oh my lord. Okay, the, the castle, what we got up here? Even from a distance, the castle walls appear damaged and weather beaten. It looks like it's a real ancient castle. Interesting. Ferris wheel. For sure, uh, for such a big amusement park, the Ferris wheel seems kind of small. Uh, okay, if you say so. Between that and the retro design, it was uh, probably built a long time ago. It's not about the size of the Ferris wheel, it's about how you ride it. Right, uh, Kaito is the only person I can speak to at all. There's no one else I can chat to. Literally no one. So uh, Kaito it is. The fact they even give me the option here is bizarre. I guess they had to try and slot some gameplay into the uh, plot sequence that was happening here. They have to make you move your fingers so that you remember you're still alive. Don't try and stop me, Takuma. I've had it with these things. But, with, uh, but they might have all been tricked by this queen. Doesn't matter. If they're going to keep me from finding Miu, they're going to get smashed. Just like your mum. Okay, maybe we are actually fighting now? Nope. What's wrong? Aren't you going to attack? It's not, it's no use. I think I can't think of anything. If you don't strike the first blow, then I will. Bring it on. Do you know what? You know when two people square up in the pub chat and nobody actually ever fights? You know when they both stand like nose to nose and they're like, swing first? No, you swing first. Hit me. Go on, hit me. No, you hit me. We're really going to do this. This is hard to watch. Seems like these guys, these guys are actually the most chumpiest of the chumps. The game's not even bothering with a battle. They're just attacking us off screen in a dark cut screen. A, da a dark fade to black, they run at us in punches in the nuts. And then, yet again, nothing happens. Okay, sure. I think we made it through. Mm. Let's do that. I feel bad for the Digimon that just got beaten up. Yeah, me too. But how do we look for her? This place is huge. She could be anywhere. Knowing me, she'd be in the shop buying some fucking coffee mugs. We'll just have to split up and go corner to corner. Oh no. Please, we can't do this again. <sighs> if, uh, all, as if we don't come here for the memes. Thanks. How are you, Sarah? How's things? What's been happening? I feel bad for the Digimon. I wish Hard Mode had some sort of benefit, but the fights are pretty easy regardless as Damien. I think because of the free battle sequences, you can definitely you can definitely overgrind if you choose to. Or maybe not even if you intend to. I think trying to acquire new Digimon from the free battles will naturally, if you are completing a lot in a row, you probably will end up just fucking getting a little bit too strong. Which could be a bit of an issue for some people, yeah. I think hard mode just brings the game in a bit more balance, to be honest. I would probably consider normal mode to be more like easy and hard mode to be more like normal, but I'm not saying we couldn't not die because in the last boss fight we actually lost a couple of people here and there. Not permanently, but they died, you know? I've had two Digimon so far being knocked unconscious. The Arakenimon fight was like... 
I think when you fight Arakenimon, it's always guaranteed. Maybe not guaranteed, right? But like, I feel like unless you're super strong, if you've been doing a lot of grinding, unless of that, you're probably going to have a couple of Digimon knocked out there. I think most players will. Are you sure we shouldn't just split up and look? Who cares what Shuji thinks, man? Okay. Now that we've um, addressed the same thing five times, Ghost Kids are going to be fine. You'll be right too. Cool, what do you say? Okay, fine, sweet, we finally managed to convince Shuji, thank the Lord in Heaven. Right, no problem. Let's go. Holy Jesus. They should have called this game... <laughs> Digimon survived the plot. Okay. Agamon and I will try to check in on you, but if anything happens, call for us. Right. Okay. I'll think about it. I don't know where I am. Hopefully there's no grand pianos here. Right. Nani? Okay, exploration. Here we go, guys. We're finally back in control. That was uh, very long-winded, but what have we gathered? We arrived at the theme park, we met some cute Digimons, we beat them up, felt bad about it after, and then we argued about whether we're going to split up or stay together. That took us about 40 minutes to get through, and that's the summary. Central Plaza unlocked. Here we are. Performance space unlocked. Castle Courtyard unlocked. It seems like this is a whole entire region. We've also got what I assume is... Okay, woods by the park. Any free battles? Free battle unlocked. Okay, sweet. Right, so we are not on a timer. We can go wherever we want and we can do whatever we want. The free battles are actually Beomon and Bergemon at the minute. Ooh. Okay, before we actually have a look around the park, let's go out to the woods and see what happens. I know that's kind of... Well, I guess... I'm scared that we advance the plot, guys, so I'm just going to quickly cover the woods. I would assume there's just a couple of items to find out here. But other than that, probably not much else. Uh, we're going to scan this with our phone and see what we get. It's probably going to be a fight, but yeah, okay. We could choose to take this if we wanted, but for the sake of it, I don't think we're going to bother. The reason for me declining the fights, guys, even though they've just we've just had a lot of discussions and plot, although we could obviously take some fights here, I would assume we're going to be doing free battles in a minute anyway, and like I said, I'm scared of being too overleveled. That being said, I didn't actually want to leave the area, though. Uh, so we're going to run away from this. Can I actually just have a look around? Uh, is there anything? No, it's just the amusement park and the actual fight. Okay. We're not going to bother fighting these guys, I don't think. Obviously, there might be a... There, there could be a Digimon here that's actually unique. There, there could actually be, like, a new Digimon that we could find here. But I'm so scared it's just going to be another mindless battle that is completely and utterly un unuseful. I think we're going to take the risk and just assume that it's not going to be that great, although I could be making a mistake there. Either way, we should survive. Um, okay, let's start off in the castle courtyard with Kaito, I think. I don't know if this is going to advance the plot, I hope not. Although, knowing me, I would guess maybe this will advance the plot because he is the most important person here looking for the sister. Okay, maybe that actually was the worst person to talk to. It's you guys again. Took the words right out of my mouth. Why did we have to run into you three here? Did I just miss, like, a bunch of opportunities to talk to other people? I don't know. Well, it ends now. We won't let you go any further. This time, we're gonna really get going and eliminate you like Her Majesty ordered. Okay. Are we actually gonna fight? Don't fight them. Remember, you promised. Okay. So we have an option. We can try to convince them, ignore them, or scare them off. Uh, let's try to convince them. I don't think it's gonna help, but let's try it. Let's talk through calmly one more time. Like we said, we don't mean uh, we don't mean you any harm. That's right, we're just looking for Kaito's sister. Okay. Shuji still thinks the Digimon are mindless beasts, despite the fact that we've survived alongside them for three days straight. Just got back from finally finishing Critical Role Campaign 2. No spoilers, obviously, but emotions are hijack. Okay. <laughs> I actually have started Critical Role Campaign 2, but I've never actually gotten more, more than, like, I don't know, five or six episodes in. I did really enjoy it, though. It's just a very long campaign. But that's not a bad thing. I do intend to go back to it at some point. It's just one of these things that I phase in and out of. So I uh, I hope you enjoyed it, Shikinasus. Gonna dip for now, says Gajin, but see you next stream. Take care all. Alright, Gajin. Love you. Bye-bye. Glad to hear the thoughts on Shuji are similar to mine, says B uh, yeah, BPG. Oh man, Shuji's painful, but... Now that they're gone, we should get back to looking for Miyu. Haru and Miyuku, are you guys both okay? We're fine. Fine. Okay, sweet. Right. Well, that was an utter... That was another... <sighs> Nothing happened there. It looks like that was important for uh, advancing Kaito, though. 
Let's talk to some of the more chill people. Let's go to the park gate and talk to Aoi and see what she's up to. Aoi! Aoi! Okay, do we have anything else here? Got the ticket booth. This is small. No one inside, of course. Okay. The Ferris wheel. This is smaller and cuter than the Ferris wheels I know. I'd like to ride it, but who knows what might happen. I'd rather uh, ride something else here. Hello, Aoi. So, you think those little guys are okay? Yeah, they're fine. Jesus Lord. She's got plenty of her own problems right now, but she's so worried about the little monsters. She really is very kind. And also a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I do like her. Uh, you sure are nice. Fuck. Why not? I was just thinking of how kind you are. It is to be so worried about them. You sure are nice. Really? Why does she seem upset? You think I'm worried about them because I'm nice? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so hard sometimes, chat. Okay. Did I say something wrong? It would appear so. This is no time for us to be chatting. How the fuck are you supposed to know that's not what she wants to hear? Oh, my God. I guess we don't simp for Aoi. I guess we... Can I get... Can I try again? Oh, pain, chat. It's so painful. None of it makes sense. Okay, well, that was a failed operation. Aoi, you're dead to me, Kappa. Right, uh, I need to stop simping after these characters. Sometimes I guess they just want to hear other things. Let's try and talk to Saki. Now, every time I've tried to talk to Saki, I have tried so hard to be polite and kind to her, but every time I do that, just like the instance with Aoi, she tells me to go and fuck myself. So, what we're going to try and do here is be a bit more harsh a bit more realistic and a bit more guttural, if that makes sense. And uh, I'm going to try and be a bit firmer here to see if it actually affects her. Because right now we have had zero luck with Saki. She's been very difficult to work with. But I think that's just because we haven't understood her so far. Okay, we've got something here as first. We're going to take a selfie real quick. Please don't be a fight. I would rather have an item here. What's this? A big bandage. Okay, cool. Fantastic. It seems like there really is a limited item pool in this game. Because it only ever seems to be big bandages or... It feels like a voice or someone, someone's conscious in my head. Okay, so we found a chapter two. We're not going to read it. That's good to know. I'm assuming these uh, these little chapter things that we can read are definitely important to the lore. I'm just not really that bothered. Playground equipment. Okay, nothing really happening here. I'm not going to click on the tent. Saki, hi. Here we go. Let's give it a go and see if we can actually pull it off. Love Aoi, most sensible character. What is this place? I've never seen anything like it before. It's wonderful. You think so? It gives me the creeps, to be honest. Nobody here, but there's the sound from the crowd. Oh, is that so? Still, it's kind of exciting to be in an amusement park. You like amusement parks, Saki? Okay, I'm more like I've liked the idea of them. Oh, never mind, forget I said that. What does that mean? Isn't this wild, though? It feels like we have the whole place. Is Saki... What the, What was that all about? More like I've always liked the idea of them. Oh, she's never been before. She never had the chance. Maybe that's what it means. Or she's, a, or she's a scaredy cat, but I don't think that's really her character. I think she means she always wanted to go to one, but she never got the chance, which reveals to me that she's either had a bad childhood, a poor childhood, or she doesn't have any parents. I think that's what that is a clue to, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Isn't this wild, though? It feels like we have the whole place ourselves. Uh, I can almost imagine it as a special event, like a magical night of mystery. This is a pretty real experience, and the rundown parts only add to the charm. See, it's so hard to be nasty to Saki when she's so upbeat and happy, but every single time I agree with her, she gets mad. I actually can't understand. I'm a little worried about you, Saki. Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Why would you think that? I mean, I'd think it would be obvious after how exhausted we were earlier. Or she was earlier. I wonder if she'd get mad at me if I said her enthusiasm was a little too much. She also seems kind of wistful, though. Maybe I should mention that. Does this, what is the smart thing to do? Uh, does that mean the smart thing to do is to just say I sort of got the impression? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Like, I honestly have no fucking idea what to pick here. All of these seem just like we're doomed. If I say no reason... What what kind of like what kind of angle does she represent? I honestly can't tell. You seem too excited. You seem wistful. I don't even know what the wistful means. Does that mean like airy fairy? She's a bit kind of like a bit too high. Needs to calm down a little bit. I I I don't know, chat. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. How dare you upset my Aoi? Aoi, I'm trying my best. Honestly, I'm trying. 
You're so nice. Whoa, how could you? I know. Honest to God, guys, it's so hard trying to figure out some of these dialogue lines. So this character here, right? Check this out. The reason I am confused here is because the last time we had this discussion with Saki, right? She literally said something kind and I said, whoa, that's really awesome. You're a great person. And she told me, oh my God, you're so boring. Leave me alone. Something along those lines. She was, she didn't like it. She was really pissed off by it. And I'm just like, how do I even win? So I really don't know what to pick here. I'm not this far in the game or anything. Her profile at the start just felt like it. If you go to the profile and options and read hers, it gave me the impression that she's like a cancer patient or something, says Damien. Okay. Maybe we need to check that out later. I told myself no matter what, the next time I spoke to Saki, I was going to be a hard ass. But none of these... None of these options seem like a good idea. Maybe I need to tell her to calm down, but that just seems so wrong. Let's chat, vote on the dialogue options. I mean, you guys can implement your... Um, you can, you guys can share your thoughts if you want, AJ. I'm definitely down for you guys to tell me what you think. Just please don't be upset if I don't pick what you guys all pick because I can't pick everybody's choices. I only get one, okay? Saki is a tough cookie. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think it's this. I think we have to pick one of these ones. I'm going to try it, but I really don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe she's... Oh, yeah, maybe she's ill. That's why she was sick when she was walking in the woods. Maybe she actually is ill. Because we've had a couple of signals that Saki maybe isn't at 100% health, hasn't she? Maybe if we see if we say she seems wistful, that's looking into her character being ill. But would she actually want that? If you want to cheese it, you can always save before. We could cheese it, yeah, we could line her, we could. Wistful, learn to pronounce adjective, having of uh, showing a uh, feeling of vague or regretful longing. Okay, this would be accurate, but again, do we want to call her out? Do we want to be honest? Fuck it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it was excited. I would say it's one of these two, but honestly, I don't know. You've had this wistful look in your eyes for a while now, so I was concerned. Takuma, have you ever fallen for me that badly? Have you fallen for me? No, I didn't mean it like that. I know, I was only kidding. It's just nice to be in an amusement park again, that's all. Kaito will definitely fly off the handle again if we don't find Miu. Pain. Okay. We really don't understand Saki. I think she. we might just be incompatible. I don't know. Oh, new Digimon available. Spicy. Uh, right. Now that we've completely and utterly balls that up, why don't we go and ruin another friendship over here? It seems we're just bad at picking options, chat. We really don't know our character's cast, do we? We're, le we're learning a little bit, but my god. Okay, Ferris Wheel, Miyuki, uh, Haru, Minoru. Let's talk to these fucking gimps. Hey, isn't that Miyuki and Haru? Hello. Oh my god, she's happy. Isn't this fun, sis? I've never been to a place like this before. That's the first time I've seen Miyuki happy. Who knew she could smile? Even Haru's happy. I want to write that next one. Yeah, right. Okay. It's easy to forget this is normal like everything else. Everything has been so weird. I'm kind of relieved. It's nice to see these aside this side of these two. What are you doing, Takuma? Oh, I don't know, Agamon. Just um, fretting over the fact that we've picked every fucking single wrong option in the entire game thus far. If you're looking for Haru and Miyuki, they're over there. Oh my god, they teleported? Those two are just standing around again. Wait a minute, but I could have sworn they were over there. And now they're really sad. What the fuck? Okay, this is actually important. This is actually important. So, ghost kids were over there and they were happy. Now they've warped over here and they're sad. Uh, confusion? This is quite unusual. This is definitely a plot point. Interesting. Haru seems like he's a little grumpy too. Oh, so maybe there's like different elements to their character. There might be like a, like a good side and a bad side to both characters. And maybe you can try and bring out the good side and put the bad side back into the darkness or something ah is something wrong nothing actually it's something bothering you haru no not really i'm just worried about my sister i'm the sister yeah we know calm down is miyuki enjoying the amusement park <laughs> it doesn't look like it i am not i hate it here right okay cool was miyuki i saw over there some kind of illusion ah okay 
Sweet. That might not seem like it's that important, chat. Maybe I'm overblowing it, but that seemed like it was somewhat relevant. Uh, is that going to consume my time here? Oh, it is. We've been through the whole part in the park and not a single clue. Where the, where the hell could Mia have gone? That, that actually was the last person I could speak to. I missed the option to talk to Minoru and I missed the option to speak to Kaito. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure we looked everywhere. I'm kind of sad, actually. Like, there's no indication that that's going to progress the story, but that's just the one that we picked and therefore it advanced it. That's a bit of a bummer. Hmm. Does anyone else hear footsteps? Not me. Are you sure you're hearing things? I don't feel like we got anything from that, guys. We did not get one single adoration point anywhere. Don't tell me it's that thing from yesterday. Cyclamon? Oh, not again. No, you don't have to worry. Those footsteps sound more like... Who could it be? Ah, yes, the three musketeers. The pussy musketeers. Oh, these things again. How many times is this now? Seriously, don't they ever learn? Okay, well now we're here for some payback. Don't think you can escape. Oh my god, bro. Why does this keep happening? If we actually fought them, let's say Palmon did evolve here into giant cactusmon, and we had to fight, I could understand this, but like, see if they just disappear again. We can completely ignore them, pose as servants, keep trying to reason. Maybe we pose as servants. Sure. Let's take Minoru's suggestion and pretend we're fellow servants of the Queen. Alright, leave this to me. I don't think this is going to work. Hey guys, don't get so worked up. You there, Lower Schumann, don't come any closer. What's there to be suspicious of? Don't you know we're on the same site? We are? Isn't it obvious because we're also servants of the Queen? No, not just me, all of us. Really? So we don't need to be eliminated? We don't need to eliminate you? My affinity with Kaito is zero. He's a tough nut to crack couch for sure. Damn no improvement, tough luck man. It's hard BP, yeah. I don't know if I'm an idiot or if I'm just literally getting unlucky. I, I'm not sure. There's probably a element to both. Uh, assuming Rio died. Yeah, Rio died, yeah. Oh man, we can't figure it out. Guests are not quite that stupid. How dare you lie and try to trick us like that. You must be terrible villains. We have to try and put a stop to you right now. Yikes. Dude, the only hard yikes that's going on right now is the fact these fucking dweebs keep turning up. Okay. Oh, we are actually fighting though. Sheesh, so we got four Digimon. We're finally actually going to confront with them. I wonder if we put down a Digimon, it will actually let me see what Patmon is. So if I confirm this, and then I can actually look around the map, but... Oh, I can, yeah. So Patmon is Data, Biomon is Vaccine, and I'm guessing... Where's the other one? Oh yeah, Palmon's here. Two virus types and a Data type. And then we've got a spear, so we'll keep Agamon. We could actually leave ourselves a bit hand dry, but Drachmon can digivolve, so I think we should be alright. Let's give Lotmon some XP. Okay. All enemies are defeated. All annihilated. Okay. I don't know if I actually set my team up properly here. My brain could really not comprehend what was going on, but I think we're alright. There's also a box over there that I'd like to go and get. Right. Uh, we are going to evolve. So let's do that. We're going to try and get to that box as well, the item box. I have clocked it, guys. There's a chest in this map. I'm hoping mine won't because I'm high affinity with him, says Damien. Okay. Can't stay tonight. Just wanted to stop in and say hi. Good night to all. That's fine, She kind of sus. Thank you so much for being here. Have a lovely night, yeah? Okay. Uh, so, virus and a vaccine. Not exactly what I would call great. But we could just try and hit her. Seems like she's quite weak anyway. Yeah, I'm hoping mine won't because of a high affinity. Keep up, it's worth his BGP. Okay, we're going to end turn here. Okay, Agamon, you are probably going to chill for the time being. I might actually move you over here to back up Gilmon, I think. Just in case Gilmon's in a bit of trouble. So we'll move Agamon down the way. And we are going to try and buff over here. So let's talk... And we're going to give... Oh no, I can't actually buff anyone. That sucks. Alright, we're just going to end turn. Palmon is going to sit still. Gilmon is going to move down. He has Vidas, so he should be okay. Don't think he can reach yet. No, that's absolutely fine. We're just going to end turn and we are going to face this way, I believe. Okay, unlucky. Oh wait, actually, she's going... F wait, that's really bizarre. I did not expect that. Okay, Terrium 1, we'll send you over to get the box, actually. I think that's fine. Uh, can you reach? No, you cannot. Okay, we're going to enter. Maybe I should have not. I don't actually know. Should be fine. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know you could actually fight them, says Couch Potato. 
if you really want to call it a fight, says BGP, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go... Actually, I think what we can do here is we can probably just stick our blade, wipe out this dweeb who I love. Be him on, goodbye. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll start moving this guy up north, and then my little small guy can get the boxes for me, and that should be fine. At least Lotmon's getting a bit of XP. Alright, Agamon, let's go. We're going for the side attack here, bud. Uh, we could Digivolve. I mean, why not? Is Greymon just going to one-shot? I have a strong suspicion Palmon, being a plant, will be super weak to fire, which means I think Greymon might actually just straight up kill her. Yeah, almost. If he crits her, she dies. Okay. Big damage. Okay. We told Aoi we weren't going to fight these people again, which is... Kind of feels like we were lying a little bit. Alright, Gilmon. Gilmon also can't digivolve at the minute, but he can do regular attacks, which is more than enough here. Okay, that's two down. Hopefully the, the match doesn't end here, that would be really sad. Okay, we're gonna move Lotmon to this side, and I think in two turns we should be able to get both boxes. Oh my god, I've just realised we weren't powerful enough to kill that box. Jesus, Lotmon, that is depressing. Lotmon literally getting 1v1 by a box. Alright, uh, I guess in that case what we could do is we could just send him over here. I am... Right, I can't put any words. As as I can, as you can see, Lotmon needs a bit of XP. What are we getting? Self-pack, that's pretty good. That's an AoE heal, if, if you guys don't know. Uh, so that's not bad. Alright, Greymon, you better start hustling. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave Gilmon behind. Looks like Patmon's just standing still. Okay. Right, please. Imagine the box killed Lotmon. Imagine Lotmon tried to do damage to the box and it counterattacked and killed her. Power Pineapple, that's nice. That's a buff for permanent AD. Uh, not that we need to, but I'll move Lotmon into the center of the map. And then we're just going to one-tap Patmon over here. Holy lord. Right, can I attack? Okay, nice. Please do not miss. There's a world where he misses and we have to do another round. If you don't fight those Fangmon mobs, you don't get much. I only had three or four. I didn't fight any Fangmon mobs, Couch Potato. So I don't know when that happened. I saw Fangmon in the woods in an extra scene, but I didn't actually fight against them. Alright, well we get a bunch of items for that, so it's not too bad. Let's find out what ramifications there have been. This isn't over. Okay, they run off again. Why do I feel so tired? It's tough having to keep dealing with the same scenario. Agreed. So why did you put it in the fucking game? Next time they try and mess with me, they're going to get off. They're not going to get off too easy. You don't mean you're going to hurt them, do you, Kaito? Okay, Aoi doesn't give a fuck that we just beat the shit out of them. Even though earlier she was very self-righteous and white knighting. It's like foreshadowing. Yeah, only not like this. Uh, not only not like before someone dies, more like before meeting someone. What happens if you're in the shadow? No, you don't get it. It's like, if this were a comic book, that's what would happen next. Well, I guess that's not a very good explanation. Whatever, let's go back to looking for Mew. Okay, so I guess we do actually uh, go back to chatting with people here. I think I'm going to save my game here, guys. And it does look like we have the opportunity to hang out with more people, so maybe we didn't miss any opportunities after all. Uh, data. Let's punch in a save file here. And pray to God that everything's going to go okay here. Right, the central plaza. We've got um, Sh Shuji's available. And Beomon is available with Meramon as well in free battle. Um... I guess there's nothing else to do here, right? I think we just go talk to Shuji. And uh, advance the plot. Everyone's here, did something happen? So maybe I did actually lose the opportunity to talk to people, feels bad man. Shuji, hi. Alright, we're all here now, let's discuss our current situation. See, I don't know if... You know when we spoke to the twins earlier in the playground of the amusement park and it advanced the story? I don't know if I had like a hidden number of interactions or by talking to the twins it just moves things forward. I don't know how it works. Did I expend all of my slots that the game didn't show me? Or, you know, is it always the case that as soon as you talk to them, the plot advances no matter what? Maybe I should have not spoken to them and spoken to everybody else first, but I mean, how can you know who the right person is, right? I assumed it would be Kaito, and so I missed an opportunity to talk to Kaito, which does save time, but then we missed the opportunity to bond with him. And later on, we might need as many points as we can get if we are going to try and save characters. So I don't know. No need to bite anyone's head off, it's not like you're the only one who's upset. You're right, I'm sorry, and here, you're all trying to help me. But I just can't stand this. Sure. Okay, it's just a hunch, but whenever we get together like this, we also get company. 
I see what you mean. How could I forget? Okay. I'm saying we stand around here talking for too long. Those pesky little things will... Ah, yes, okay. Here they are again. Looking for us. Oh, no, guys. The Hitman squad are back. Most certainly you did. We'll set, we're here to sell things once and for all. What do we want to do, Takuma? Oh, I really don't want to fight them again. I've had it with you. <laughs> Looks like Kaito has finally snapped. If you little turps mess with me one more time, Kaito, no, please stop. Calm down. Don't tell me calm down. I'm done with this. You're terrifying them. That big human is scary. Oh, your majesty. I hate this. Honestly, I can't really feel sympathy for the small rookies anymore because they're tilting the show at me. They're crying. Crying. Okay, fine, whatever. What are we supposed to do? I'll talk to them, says Awe. You stay here, Kaito. We already tried that eight times. Just let me handle it. Okay. I guess so. Of course, it's not like they really are that bad. Listen, I'm sorry we scared you. I'm just going to let her get a little bit closer, okay? I'm not going to try anything. Oh, she's down on her knees. She's getting down on their level. Okay. So you look them in the eyes. She's treating them like you would if you are talking to a kid. Thank you, game. Yeah, we understand. We understand why she might bend down to talk to the cute people. Okay, that's fine. Back to Aoi. This place obviously means a lot to you, so we're uh, sorry we came in without permission. But we're not here to do anything bad. We're looking for our friend's sister. Does that sound okay? That's really all you're here for? They're actually listening to Aoi. Well, I'm glad somebody understands how to negotiate and talk to Aoi, because I certainly fucking don't. Maybe she's the... Uh, maybe the Queen will know something about your friend. Okay, we'd have to ask her. Do you want to go with us to ask the Queen? To the secret hideout? Okay, we're going to ask. And off they pop. Sure. Oh my god. It feels like a lot of this has been overdone for the sake of not having anything else useful to do in this area. We've had the same discussion five times each. I'm off to rest. Got uh, to be quite late here. Have fun. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for the stream. Yo, Liner, thank you for being here, and have a lovely evening. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. We're fine, come on. All right, sure. Okay, some nice textures there. Is this a Skyrim mod? Oh, that was a close one. Sure it was, but it sounds like they didn't spot us. I have to wonder, though, why do we keep walking around the Why do they keep walking around the castle? Look, Takuma, they're going inside. Okay. Oh, we're following them, and I think they know. <laughs> that be a mono. That be a mono having a peek was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. They are. So that must be the back door. Do you think this is a trap? I think they know that we're following us. Apparently they didn't know us. So they're going off to meet the queen, and we're stalking them, so that we can find the queen. And now we're inside. Oh, that's a big chest. Um, Aoi with the mommy energy. Yeah. This hall is really impressive. It's like we're in a real castle. Which way do you think they went? I don't fucking know. Oh my god. Right. We've got a pillar over here. We've got a treasure chest over here. Oh my god, what if this is a trap? Treasure chests have been placed about intentionally, probably as decorations. Maybe a monster would jump out if you opened one. Oh shit. I feel like there's something here I should check with my camera. Okay, sure. Scanning. Scanning for bitches. Oh my god. A learning crystal. That's for XP. Could actually be pretty good for our team right now. Especially our chumps. Uh, equipment, do you do you both have two sets of equipment? Okay, I'm actually going to change up Gomamon a little bit here. We're going to change this, and we're going to give him the XP crystal that I've just found. Learning crystal, yeah. Perfect. That's going to let him catch up a little bit quicker, ideally. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, nothing else with the phone that we need to find. There's a window that's broken, or a corner. Or we can talk to... No, we can't talk to Agamon. Let's check the window. To the windows to the wall. Till the sweat runs down Agumon's balls. Out sucky sucky motherfucker. Oh! What was that sound? Says Palmon. Intruders! In here? Let's go chase them out. Oh, they're gonna find us! Come on, let's run for it. Okay, so I got to look at a window. And then I got busted. Ideal. Okay, Agumon, let's head after them again and be sure not to get caught. How would I have known that checking the window would get me caught? Are you fucking kidding me? The hallways look so similar, I think I'm starting to get lost. Come on, let's find the guys. Alright, chat. So I've got the pillar or the window. Last time we picked the window, it made a noise. I'm going to pick the pillar. Just to, just to make sure that I get all of them wrong in a row. We're probably going to knock over the candle. Sh oh, I bet, I bet you're going to knock over the candlestick. I think I see a handle here. Oh, yeah. Secret passageway? Okay. Wait, this door. I almost missed it here in the shadow. 
Yeah, I bet it is. Then let's go inside. Okay, for the first time in ages, apparently we picked the right option. You're right about this, some of the unnecessary menu and, and the unpunished result. Okay, thanks BGP. Or B P B B P G rather. Following the monsters that attacked us, we finally found what seems like a hideout. Nice throne, though. This is a badass area. I do love the environment here. Yeah, the window. I do feel like, um... I do like the, the atmosphere of the castle. You know when there's anything that's lost and forgotten chat that used to be something? I always like that as an environment for exploring in games. Not necessarily like, not necessarily like a, ba a big old abandoned factory or like an old abandoned uh, like like city or whatever. But you know when it's a well lit area and it's quite kind of fantasy like? I, I enjoy this. I do. It's like where you'd expect to talk to the king in some fantasy RPG. Yeah, exactly. You think that's an actual throne? No, I think that's a toilet, Saki. What the fuck do you think? Okay. Cut it out, quit yelling. Uh-oh. Shit. Somebody's here. Oh, Miu. That was easy. Miu was the queen. So Miu has been... Oh, I didn't see that coming. Miu is the queen and she told them that she had the power to turn people into stone. I did not see this coming. This is not what I expected to happen. Okay. Maybe this was obvious to you guys. I did not even consider that this might be... I was expecting a Digimon. I never even thought Miu would be the queen. I thought that the game was going to spin it out, that Miyu was missing for a long time and the Queen was going to be like the first part to track her down, but no. Unless Miyu is not the Queen and this is just a bait and the Queen still exists, but I don't think that's the case. Mm. Once we heard the Queen was a little girl, yeah that's true actually. I found that somewhat hard to believe until I'd seen it for myself. Okay, apparently these guys knew right from the start. I'm not believing it. Mm -hmm. I don't think Shuji had any idea either. Disneyland 100 years later, yeah. So glad you're not hurt. Kaito has tears in his eyes. Exactly what you'd expect out of a touching reunion. No doubt Miyu is glad to see him to Oh, nope, she's... Okay, so it turns out Mi is not happy to see Kaito, and she's very upset. The music cut out, so you know it's serious. <sighs> Every character is Sundari in Digimon Survive. Mm. How come? It's not safe for you to be out here on your own. I'm not on my own, I've got everyone here. Oh, the Digimon. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Thought it was going to be Rosemon or Loismon, yeah. Uh, that would have been a good option, yeah. It would have been a good opportunity for sure. Rosemon would have fit in. Obviously, Rosemon being like the Rose Castle from Next Order, that's, that was a theme in that game, right? She was like the royalty. Yeah. The, the Palace of Thorns, or whatever it was called. The Castle of Thorns? Palace of Thorns? Mm. You act tough, pick fights won't shut up and are so annoying. Do you know what? It'd be kind of cool if they. It would be kind of cool if they tied some next order content to this game. Like, mate, see if they had like. I don't think it would be possible, but let's say like the server desert appeared as a location, and you maybe had clues of like the next order cast maybe passing through. Maybe you don't encounter them, but something like that would be cool, right? Wouldn't that be sweet? I don't know how you'd manage to make the cyber sleuth cast appear in this game, but act like the, the next order team. You could definitely have like Mamio walking past in the background somewhere, just as a kind of throwaway. Nothing too crazy, nothing too important or impactful to the plot, but maybe just like a photograph of them or something. Something to just show that the, the, the world's connected a little bit, right? 
Now, I don't think they would do that because it would take a lot of careful planning and preparation, but they could easily throw in some cameos just, for, just as a bit of fan service. I don't know what you guys think about that. Maybe you disagree. It could be that this is an entirely different part of the digital world, you know? Like a, like a parallel universe or a, a completely different dimension, so maybe it wouldn't make sense for that to be the case, but I would be happy with it. You mean us? You can trust Takuma and the others. They're actually really nice. Thanks, Kaito. I've been worried sick about you. Stop being a brat. You think you're so much better than me. Miyu hates Kaito like I hate everybody else. Mm -hmm. These two are out of control. Right. Strangely enough, out of everyone here, Shuji seems the most calm. That is fucking true. Should I be focused on what to do in this situation? What do we do about this? Mia doesn't want to leave. Kaito isn't much shape to leave either. <laughs> she hates me. Don't worry, Kaito. You'll get over it. You'll get a wife one day. Jesus. What are we going to do? I don't know. Bang our heads off a wall? Throw ourselves out of the highest tower in the palace? Rosemon or Lotusmon might be saved for Saki's final form. Yeah, you could be right, Kagbar, yeah. That's true. To keep it spoiler free, some cameos do show up in the game connecting into the series, but you'll know when you encounter them. Okay, that's good to know. Interesting. Cool. I bet you, I bet you there's a Miri. Uh, if I had to guess, see if you had to say Jack, who's the character that turns up, I bet you it would be Miri. Miri always appears for some reason. But do not confirm, nor deny chat. I'm just talking, I'm just speaking out loud, but don't, shh, 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 don't tell anyone. Maybe we should explain to her um, just how dangerous the world can be. Yeah, okay, we get it. Okay, I'd rather play with my own sister. I just want to go home. Forgot you guys were useless. Okay, she's threatening us now. What do we do? We need to ask first. Or we need to act fast. Should we scold her like Shuji thought? Emphasize the danger like Aoi suggested? Or should we take Minoru's approach and try appealing to her with something she'd want? Um, well, it seems like scolding her is a no bueno. I don't think she's going to cave. We're not going to wrangle her into submission. We've got great food. Definitely seems like it could work. The world is dangerous. Seems like we could try and scare her. But as we've seen so far, she doesn't seem like the kind of child to show any kind of fear whatsoever. So I don't think that would work. I think you have to beat her with food. If it's the little sister character, we'll have to wait and see. Yo, Prince Revolver. What's up, one boy? Hey, Prince. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Come on. Dude, if the food... If we can't bear with food chat, she's never coming with us, let's be honest. <laughs> I think this is just a, uh, one of these instances where you actually can't convince her no matter what you pick. And uh, it's purely just for the sake of your attributes, your moral harmony and wrath. Oh, okay, she has her own stash. She doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Why am I even trying? I think if you had said to her it's dangerous, she would have just said, I've got my friends to save me. And if we had scolded her, she'd be like, who are you to tell me what to do? Don't you want some soup or a piece of nice juicy meat? Minoru, calm down. She's not that old. Nice warm soup and juicy pieces of meat. We may not have the best ingredients, but Aoi's cooking is delicious. I'd be happy to cook. Honestly, if, Aoi, if Aoi's cooking, she's not flaming me, so that's a plus. I'll use as many vegetables as possible. Including Florimon. No thanks, I hate vegetables. Unlucky, mate. Dude, roast potatoes right now? I could absolutely destroy roast potatoes. I love roast potatoes. Just got the game going with the first Wrath playthrough, Harmony and Moral in that order. Ah, nice one, Prince. So, I just got the game going with first Wrath. Okay, so you're going to do it. You're you're not going to go with the flow and pick a mixture of options. You're going to do a Wrath playthrough and then Harmony and then Moral. Okay, cool. Sweet, man. Uh, how far into the game are you right now, Prince? Are you 
Are you just into chapter one, chapter two? Beyond that, how's it going? Are you enjoying it? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I've seen a couple of people saying that they're doing that. That's kind of cool. And I think Valkyrie is doing a Wrathful only playthrough at the minute, which is kind of cool. We are just more going with the flow. If I see an option I like, I pick it. If I see an option that I think is my choice, I pick that. So it's a bit of a mad, chaotic playthrough, but I also feel like it's quite fun for the first time. So, yeah. What is it with you and vegetables? I feel like we almost had her there. I'm so sick of this. I should have known my brother and his friends would be annoying. Sounds like she doesn't like us at all. This could be bad. What are we doing, Mew? Isn't it obvious? My brother is always wrong, always worrying about me. Is Miyu going to be the boss fight? Oh, what if Miyu's Digimon digivolves into a champion and then that's the boss? Part 2 Falcomon campaign digivolution where we met Fangmon. Excellent, Prince. Okay, nice, dude. Sweet, I know exactly where you are. Good stuff. Hell yeah, man. Prince, how did you find the stream? Did you just were you just browsing the category? Welcome, welcome to the channel, man. Nice to nice to meet you. It's lunchtime. Oh, buckets! I'm starving. I woke up and I had a yogurt and a cup of tea. I'm actually so hungry. I don't know what I can have for my dinner that I didn't eat already today, though. I had my McDonald's yesterday and I still need to work out. So, honestly, I'm in a bit of a weird spot in terms of nutrition. Did what? Wait. Okay. What's happening? Oh no. Okay. Miyuki, hold on to me. The whole floor just... Uh oh. It's a trapdoor. Down the hole we go. She actually hit us with the Don Carneo chat. Holy shit. I'm free falling. Yeah, category browsing. Nice. I'm so far behind you, I guess. Well, we are in chapter 4, Prince. So, we're probably a good few hours ahead of you. There's a lot of big story points in between us, and there's a few battles, including a couple of boss battles. I won't say any more. But then in addition, obviously, there's a ton of waffling. So, uh, yeah, we're probably a good few hours ahead of you, mate. Just a little bit. Never offer a brat vegetable, says B <laughs> BP. It's true, yeah. Rice cakes with ricotta cheese, uh, ricotta cheese, cherry tomatoes, and cucumber. Fuck it, that actually sounds really good, man. That sounds pretty good. Hell yeah. Nice and healthy. Okay. Is everyone okay? I'm dead. I fell down the stairs again. From what I can tell, everyone's here. Maybe someone made modifications to the castle. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird if... Uh, it would be kind of weird if the amusement park actually had a trap door in one of the rooms. I don't think this is an attraction. So somebody's up to something. Isn't it so typical we bust our balls? We bust our balls, literally lose a friend, travel across an entire mountain range, fight a giant evil fucking demon spider lady, and then in addition we get there, and Miyu actually just trap doors us. We break our legs, die in a hole, she pisses on us from up above. Hello? Maybe we should have explained to, uh... Maybe we should have explained to Mia the fact that one of our characters actually fucking died? That might have changed our mind a little bit. Hmm. Shouldn't you be going to bed though, Jack, if you have duty duty? I had a power nap earlier for four hours, can't quite. I'll be okay. I will be going to sleep later, but thanks for asking. Is there a dress code for duty duty? I'm not sure. You're, uh, as from what I read on the website, you can wear whatever you want as long as it's not a bikini. You're not allowed to wear anything on your head unless it's for religious purposes. Other than that, I don't think they care. Uh, I wonder what happened. But it's probably better if I don't pry. What was that here? That's why I swore I'd always protect her no matter what. She's been through a lot. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is the one important thing to pay attention to in all of the chit-chat here. Uh, Miu, the sister, has been through a lot. And he swore that he would always protect her. So maybe there's a parent problem going on where they don't have a mum or they've lost a dad or something. Maybe something bad happened to Miu. We'll have to uncover that as we play through. 
I think he got a little bit overprotective and it backfired. I'm just worried is all. Okay, maybe this would explain why Kaito is such a, a fucking, you know, he's so single track minded when it comes to protecting his sister. It looks like there's a bit of backstory there, which I am pleased about. It means he's not just a fucking idiot. He's actually, you know, he has a reason, he has a drive, and that's good. That's good for your character development. It's nothing. Maybe I just imagined it. How the hell do we get out of here, asked Minoru. We cannot simp. I'll be the judge of that, Falcomon. You sexy beast. Why don't we all try looking for an exit? Alright, cool. So what happens now? Are we in searchy search mode or what? There must be a way for us to escape. I should take a look around. Okay, we've got a bed, which looks like it's got a hole under it. The floor might have a hole in it. The pillar, iron bars... Or the wall. Dude, it has to be the bed, right? There's no way. There's no way it's the pillar again. The iron bars are just going to tell me they're locked tight. The wall where Shuji is staring at doing the Blair Witch Project. I don't know what's happening. It has to be the bed, right? It's not much of a bed, to be honest. It looks like this isn't it either. Apparently, this is just an ordinary bed and a real be-up one at that. Ah, oh, still, it makes me want to have a nap and pump Shuki on it. I mean, what? Did I say that out loud? We should search somewhere else. Okay. The floor? Is this one of these rooms where we exhaust all of the options, nothing happens, and then eventually something progresses? This block looks like it should move, but it won't budge. Do you think there's a trick to it? Let's keep looking around. Okay. So maybe it is the pillar again. Back-to-back -back pillars. No way. Pushing the pillar reveals a lever. We open the floor. Everything seems normal here. It's no use. We're never going to find any clues. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. Shuji's having a mental breakdown. It's 19th one of the day, that's fine, we can handle it. We'll just punch him in the balls. Okay, advancement. We checked the floor, the pillars and the bars, the walls, but we found no exit. I give up. These bars can't hold me, I'll bust right through them. Oh no. Stop. That noise is really scary. Cool. Just deal with it. Maybe we can get out of this room. The game kind of alluded to the fact that there was a trick to the floor, but I don't think we actually checked the right place. Maybe the walls is what we were supposed to pick where Shuji was? Give it a rest. Well now. Oh, a voice! Well now, if it isn't more creatures who have suffered at the hands of her rowdiness. Somebody in another's prison cell? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be, chat? No. Listen. Listen. Le hey, 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 listen you. Right, I'm just going to lay down some ground rules. I'm not rebuilding your city. I've done that before. Okay, I'm not rebuilding your city a second time. I've done that before. And no, I don't have any drugs. Okay, and I'm not coming to see your creepy basement. I am no enemy of yours, says Jijimon. <laughs> Dude, he's here. <laughs> Look at all the hair. Oh, Takuma, you fucking normie. You absolute filthy casual. Everybody knows who this is. Dude, Jijimon looks like he's been fucking powerlifting, dude. Has he been, has he been making those gains while I've been away? I can explain everything in time. First things first. First things first. I should release you from the cell. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Now that you're in my power, I will tell you what to do. Go out and find Digimon and bring them back to me. I need to build up this... This prison block isn't going to build up itself. He really just let us out. Who is this old man? <sighs> Insane. Very now. Very good now. The exit's over this way. Locally for duty duty, we call a number right the night before and it states whether or not the service is still needed. Yep, that's exactly what I did, McAllister. I had to wait until after 5pm, I phoned the line, I got an automated message, and they told me that they were going to phone me in the morning to let me know if they needed me or not. They didn't tell me if it was actually scheduled or not, which is actually what the website and my letter that I got posted through the, through the door said. But the lady on the phone said that um, they, we had to make ourselves available for a call in the morning. And if I don't get a call, I have to phone again tomorrow night and keep repeating that until a week passes. And after that, then something special happens, but I have to phone every night to make sure that's the case and that's the plan. 
and then if I don't get a phone call in the morning, it means I don't have to do anything. I think that's how it works. We all left the cell, as the old man suggested, but... Should you really be following this guy? It could be another trap. What's that? Am I so suspicious? You heard me. How can you expect to trust a monster like you? You don't have to put it like that. If nothing else, he at least let us out of the cell, didn't he? Shuji, listen, relax, dude. Shuji, I'm going to tell you right now, there was a time where I used to think Jujimon was the villain. I made that mistake, he's always the good guy, okay? Although maybe one day, in Digimon World Next Order 2, Jujimon plot twist, evil bad guy coming in. If you want me to write the script for Next Order 2, Bandai, just hit me up, yeah? Ten million dollars, nothing less. But, Shuji's got a point. Nah, dude, there's no way. But should we, list, uh, should we let that make us paranoid? What is it that you propose to do? We don't have many options. If we want to leave, I feel like we'll have to trust them. But Shuji could be right. Nah, Shuji's never right. Shuji is an absolute dumbass. Uh, try to wait on Miyu? No, fuck it. Follow along, dude. Let's go. Get on. I think we can trust this guy. Hmm. McAllister says, I've been called for duty duty three times and I've never had to go. I've lucked out. I mean, that's good, McAllister. I think what happens, though, is if you don't get summoned, you get put back into the into the pool. Whereas if you actually go and you do get called up, you get taken out for a few years. So maybe the reason you've been called three times is because you don't get accepted. So it's a... I know you're, you're right in a way, but maybe if you had actually just went once, you would never have been called again. But the fact that you've never actually had to go is is good. I really hope tomorrow I don't have to go. Because it would really throw a, a spanner in the works for my plans and my sleep schedule. I feel like if I went to bed now and I woke up and they didn't phone me, I could sleep right through till about 1-2pm. It would be perfect for getting up, making some content and then going live tomorrow. But I'll just have to wait and see. Don't you think letting us out of that cell without telling me you and Suyakamon? Earn some trust? But you can't prove this isn't a trap. Maybe not. I feel like we can't trust this guy. I think so too. Too. Although if I post, if I don't, oh, here's the thing. If I don't post it now, it's going to have to wait a full another day, which I think is a bit too late. And it will offset all my other uploads, so maybe I should post it now. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll do that. The question is, do I... Do it live. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll wait another eight minutes. We'll see where this goes and then maybe we can chill. And I can do it off stream. It's unusual for those children to offer an opinion without being asked. Kids can be pretty good at um, intuiting this sort of thing, I'm convinced. Okay, Shuji doesn't buy that Jijimon's a good guy. Okay. You can escort us out, but could you tell us a bit about yourself as you go? Very well. Start with your name. Post now. We have we have a saying at work. Fuck it, do it live. Yeah, that might actually be relevant. Yeah. Why did you let us out of the cell, Jijimon? Ah. So Jijimon used to be in charge. I hope Jijimon turns out to be a bad guy. That would be the twist. Yeah. I simply tried to ensure that small and weak creatures could live here in peace. Mm. The little monsters were easily taken in. Oh, her rowdiness companion is quite sharp. She pretended to have turned into a rock. Oh, because Sayakamon is the clam. Is that his name, Sayakamon? The little tiny clam Digimon. Ah, that's what they mean by turning a rock. Then faked her recovery and the others now believe her readiness. Ah, I see. Yeah, sorry, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Dumbasses. Why didn't you do something? Well, they all seemed like they were having so much fun I didn't see the harm. I took it as an opportunity to retire. Yeah. 
If anything, I feel like I owe this guy an apology. I'm sorry. Okay. You were? Our readiness doesn't have any sort of cleaning or picking up after herself. It's given me the perfect excuse to help care for the others even more. Jujimon being the good guy. I understand. I'll leave it to you. I'm sure you'll think of something. Nice guy. Taking you to the exit. Shut the hell up, Minoru. Okay, sweet. Are we actually going to get to the exit or is this going to pad out for another? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Digimon is officially retired. No more Digimon recruiting for fail say. I bet he's got a grandson somewhere though, BP. I won't believe it until I'm dead. Let me introduce you to my grandchild, baby Jijimon. I need to recruit people for my fucking city. It's not much further, but I'd better stay with you for, uh, to be sure you don't get lost. Having Jijimon lead the way was definitely the right choice. Okay, cool. Sweet. Alright. Juicy. Hang in there, by the time we reach the end of this path, we'll be at the surface. Okay, Gigi, I'm trusting you. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh my god, Aoi just died. Psych, I was just cosplaying Diglett again. I tripped. What the fuck? I like how Saki's like, yes, it is kind of hard to walk down here, isn't it? Harry's like, no, motherfucker, it's a straight line. Okay. This area is prone to collapse. Okay, so there's rubble and shit again. Place is pretty beat up. I remember the state the school was in. The state of the school was a surprise, and this place isn't much better. It's been closed for decades. Super long time. Makes sense. But the way time is reckoned here in our world may be different to your world. So if you're a con if you're a consistent Digimon fan, this is a common thing. Whenever the kids go off to the digital world, they often come back and not a lot of time has passed. I think it's the way that they... Obviously, a lot of fairy tales do this as well. I think it's the way that the uh, plot gets around the fact that a child has went missing. And when they come back, they're reunited with their family and friends without any drama. Uh, it happens in this a lot as well. Parker stood here for several decades. How does that make any sense? Who could have built this place so long ago? And how? Yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. Maybe it was a mistake to think of anyone actually building the place. What if this place suddenly appeared? Because of some mysterious power. Does not that seem like how things work here? I guess. Sure. It's possible. Oh. You've been around here since before this place, right, Jijimon? Why do you just assume that he's an old bastard? Funny if Jijimon was like, I'm actually only 14 years old. Maybe he's ba uh, aging backwards like Benjamin Button. Can you tell us anything about how it was made and how much time it took? First, she must understand the nature of this world and how it came to be. <gasps> okay. Story time. According to legend, this world was created long ago by a supremely powerful being. You could say this being was like a god, indeed. It was a god from our perspective. Sure. Mm -hmm. If this being created from uh, your world, then schools and amusement parks would be easy. That could explain why the cable car was running too. And why the food and medicine are fine, even though the school is old and run down. So you're saying this has all been the work of God? Who else do you think could do all this? Well, 
I never thought we would be dealing with a god. Mm. Okay. Uh, um, the god being, uh, the godlike being faded away a long time ago. So this has all been a work of some god. Okay. And the current caretaker of our world likely wishes to reshape, reshape it into its preferred form. So he's saying the creator of the world and its caretaker are two different beings. Okay. Then maybe we're not dealing with a god, but still. It's okay, sorry, I don't worry about it. Okay. I'm afraid I can't explain it any more clearly than I already have. Okay. Oh, Agamon. Please, no. Not Agamon's brain. You're right. He does seem thoughtful. I guess the conversation was just hard to follow. Jesus Christ. Look, Agamon, have you been thinking? I guess the conversation was hard. I wonder why. What is it? Did something... Did you realize something? I've got a funny feeling. You mean you've been paying attention? It's just... Just get to the point. Please. Agamon, what have you figured out? Oh, I actually was expecting a real revelation there, but uh, alas. Okay, plot development, please, please, please. Can we get the uh, the long short of it? See if someone's about to say that they just smelled a fart. I'm actually turning off the game forever. It's hard to describe. There must be something you can do. There must be something to it if you can all feel it. But what could it be? I can feel it. Do you think we should look around? No, please, no. Okay, Kaito wants to get back to his little shit sister. Right. We can always take time to investigate later. Okay. Sure, so there's something weird happening. Something weird inside the castle that we need to figure out. Got it. Good to know. Okay, boys. So where does it come at? Oh, this is where it comes out. It's so bright out here. Okay. Maybe it's been longer since we got dumped underground than we realised. Sister, is it too bright? I am high. I must say it's a little bright for me as well. We find Mio and Gare to come visit us. That's really our only option. You think we'll be able to with the way she's been acting? Mm. Okay, apparently we can't convince Mio, I get it. Okay, we could win over her Digimon though. Interesting. That's the plan then. Okay, cool. Bye, Jijimon. It was nice seeing you. Jijimon? Jijimon? Okay. It sounds like uh, you've been looking out for Miu. So Jijimon's gonna go off. We're gonna go back to the castle. Try and convince Miu. Try and convince Sukumon. Siak... Siakamon? The, the, the clam. We're gonna convince Clammy to try and convince the, the sister. But first, Kaito wants to say thanks to Jiji. Okay. Bit of respect there, that's good. Right, let's try again. Oh, wait, but before all that... What's wrong? Uh oh It's the little guys. Oh, no, not again. Uh-oh. Please tell me I don't have to fight them. Oh, they're running off to tell them. We have to catch them. Break their legs. Quick! Throw a rock at their ankles. Wait, are they uh, talking about us or someone else? Wait a minute. Oh no, look. Alright, developments. It looks like something's happening with Miu back at the castle and these guys are trying to get away. An even more, group of, an even more dangerous group of enemies? I think not. 
Who's here? Kidnappers, they're after the queen. It came out of nowhere surrounding the park and pouring in from every direction. We faced them back to the throne, but we're absolutely weak and useless. Don't worry, Patamon, you're still cute. Arukenimon is back. Okay. This can't be happening. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing here talking won't get anything done. Agreed. So we have to go fight. This is bad. We have to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We get it. We have to go. 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 Have to go. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's no time. We have to go now. <sighs> You've always got the most level-headed opinion. I'm not sure about that, uh, Saki, but thanks. I do think it's probably best to prioritize saving Miu, but then again, it's really dangerous to move with no idea where the enemy is. So do we prioritize gaining intel, or do we put our own safety first? Right. Um, I think we have to just fucking rescue Miu. I'm not gathering information anymore. I don't give a fuck about us. We're rescuing the small brat. Let's go. We're picking a lot of harmony options tonight, guys, which I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not intending to do that. It just happens that's the way it's going. Yeah, sure. If this is really, really accurate, if this is really Arukenimon again, she'll offer me as a sacrifice. Once that happens, we're fucked. I'm with that computer. Oh, shut up, Minoru. Please, we don't care. Yeah, he was just joking. Even though he's a pussy. I love you. Thanks. Bye, Gigimon. Be safe out here. Have a nice retirement and uh, keep looking after yourself. Yeah, stay healthy. I've got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Uh, Gigimon, thanks for saying that in front of the kids. Pretend you didn't hear that, kids. What's a bitch? I'm a bitch. Oh, fuck. Well, that's awkward. What's happening here? Not so fast, what about those two? Actually important here, I'm memeing here, but... Don't worry, my sister and I will keep up, keep up. Oh, you mean Saru Miku? No, I don't like it, I'd better go with you. Oh! Jigimon doesn't like the small ghost kids. He senses something. Jigimon is a mega Digimon, I'm pretty sure. I think he's a mega. I think that's what he's supposed to be. Maybe it's an ultimate? I think it's mega though. Jigimon's obviously quite wise, quite smart, quite powerful. And he doesn't like the ghost kids. More evidence that something bad's going on there. If we if we needed any more evidence after the uh, Rio incident yesterday. Alright, well we've got an extra ally in Jigimon. That's probably not a bad thing. Okay, sorry guys. I'm going to need your help just a bit longer. Sure, okay. Not bad, Maggie. Not bad. Fair, fair, fair. Alright, guys. I think... This is probably, guys, based on the fact that it's getting very late and I have stuff to do and also more sleep to catch. I think what we'll do, as it was intended to be a short stream tonight, we'll probably stop here. So we've been live for about four hours, which is way, way less than I'd like to have been live for. But I have been catching up on rest over the last couple of days as well and I have work to do. So for the time being, I think what we'll do is we'll go into our profile slash data, whatever it is. And there we go. And I'm just going to quickly bang in a save file. Uh, I think we'll pick this off when we come back tomorrow. So we've made a decent amount of progress, but at the same time, there has been a lot of, um, this has been more of a chit chat episode. We got some fights in earlier and I'm sorry we're not ending on a fight because I always enjoy doing that. What I might do uh, is actually cut this up into part three and splice it together with the next episode, our next live stream, which will be part four. Uh, obviously not part four and three as in the game, but as in our playthrough of it. So like our streams, I guess, stream three and four. I might splice them together. Or I might not. I'm not sure. I might just bang it up as a direct upload as well. So if you if you guys have been watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the comments on the playthrough so far. And thank you for all the likes. It really helps me out and supports me. And I'm very grateful. So, uh, yeah. And if any of you guys are watching on YouTube but would like to catch us live, make sure you come over to the Twitch. The link to our Twitch channel that we're live on right now is always in the uh, YouTube descriptions. So you can find us there. Come and say hi. We'd love to have you. But anyways, peace out, YouTubers. I'll see you in the next episode.